Oh man, I thought I would never get back to this. Are we raiding? We raiding some more. We raiding uh, like raiding. Yep. Uh, so in between uh, our, the last stream of this and then uh, the next stream of this, I had a complete system malfunction on my computer. Uh, I lost. I lo I basically lost two drives, um, but I was able to get another one, and I reinstalled Windows, and I reinstalled. This is the first thing I reinstalled. So we are good to go. You attempted Linux briefly. Yeah, then then it apparently fucked with my audio so badly I became a robot. We that's right. We got that for one stream. That was that Sly Three stream. All right, we're uh, so we're gonna raid tombs. Uh, I heard that offshore rigs can get pretty creepy when deserted, so let's do that. Is an opera house a tomb? Uh, you know, tombs can be like like uh, they got connotations. Uh. Hmm. Look stick it was acting weird for a second. Okay, so this is a gearless level. We do not have weapons. Oh, that's right. That's how we started last time. So wait, what happened? We got like knocked out on a plane? We were on a plane and we were getting the drop on uh on that Italian dude and then uh and then he got us. Alright. And now we're we're kidnapped. But we were able to get out because we have upper body str Kidnapped by Mario. Mamma mia! Hey, cool. Fuck your prison! I miss gruff Mario. Like, it Italian cartoon Mario had a personality. New York Mario. Oh, yeah. <laughs> just New York Mario. Like, I like the idea of just, like, of the idea of just... It casually in conversation, they can uh, sound like they sound like the cartoony stuff. Like, ah, oh, I get this lots of spaghetti, and then if things get serious, he's like, Luigi, we need to take him out. Which uh, it's kind of funny you say that because like the cartoon ones are the more bumbling of the two. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. If anything, it should be like the game Mario is like, okay, shit, you just got real. Uh, yeah. I was thinking of, I was thinking of, but I just like the, the voices. Alright, I guess, I guess it's not just that switch. There's another switch somewhere else that needs to be pressed. Is it this switch? I am once again along for the ride. I have never seen nor played these games before. Yeah. But, uh,. Jack is the expert, now I hear Tomb Raider 2 is his favorite. <laughs> yeah, because, you know, Hitscan is like is like the best and shit. Alright, is that this Switch? Is, a, is that Switch fucking this is a timed? a combat-oriented series, not a puzzle series. Oh my god. I still think that that's like... the Okay, it is a timed Switch. Alright. I, 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 there's no timer shown. Well, yeah, no! It's never shown in these fucking games. Okay. It's just... Right and oh, suck a bond, block puzzles. Uh, you know what? At least it's not it's not uh, combat where you're guaranteed to lose like hits. What was that game? A suck a bond was a game, right? It's a. It's what was just, that for? Uh, I think it's like an old. It's like Apple II old. Ah. Like just push rocks, rock puzzles. You push them. You push them, and then by pushing them, you've solved the puzzle. All right. So now, this way. I said this way. You ever play calculator games? No. No. Yep, I knew it. Puzzle solved. Uh. Well! Luigi, she's loose! We gotta go capture her! Uh. Okay, I'm going this way. I have a feeling I, uh, I shouldn't have done that. It's nice and peaceful underwater. Okay. Is that a boat? No, and that's... alarm. There's already an alarm. Oh no. 
Well, I figured it would suddenly be very audible again once we were above the surface, but I guess not. I have a feeling... Oh, no. I thought my guns were in... The... I'm trying to find my guns. Do you, you think they're underwater here? I, I'm trying to evade the fucking guys with guns. Oh, that's too I'm tall. Watching, I'm watching a, uh... I'm watching a San Andreas playthrough for the first time. I'm watching Joel's. Oh, shit. Here I we got go to again. A point, I got to a point where he just has to, uh... He doesn't have enough, like, swim experience, so he just gotta fucking swim around for an hour to build up his stamina. That's how that works. Oh, no! <sighs> Well, back to pushing blocks. That didn't look like a very lethal propeller speed, but what do I know? I don't, I, I, I don't know anything about propellers, apparently. Just double check you make sure my guns aren't here. I, I, I know that the, you get the guns, unlike the Natalia's mines, you get the guns fairly quickly, uh, like, uh, in this section. I'm trying to remember where they are. Was that, like, uh, no gear level in Tomb Raider 1? Yeah, Natalia's mines, yeah, that was when we didn't have our guns. And, uh, we spent, like, a lot of the level was spent with just us being like, Where the fuck are our guns? Our guns should be here! Alright, I'll save it, I'll save, um... By the way, uh, anybody watching, if anybody's watching, how are our levels? I kind of did this ad hoc at the very last minute because I forgot to install OBS. Yeah, since this was a, a new PC, we kind of had to do everything from scratch. Yeah. Well, not a new PC, It's but it is just like... Well, it's a new hard drive, new OS. Yeah. New OS, who's the... who this? Ugh. Ugh. Uh, those are the noises I'd make if I had to pull a block like that. Yeah. It's uh, kind of impressive that, we, like, she's pushing blocks like this that are, like, made of stone and shit. She's got, like, hilariously good upper body strength, but then her primary mode of, like, weaponry is... I still don't like it. I, li I don't like the fact that they just arbitrarily made a lot of the stuff darker. Like, it switched to, uh, to old-school mode, and then... And it's just, like, brighter. For no reason. Gotta be ambient. Oh, I didn't save. Fuck. Alright, I'll save. Alright, and here come the alarms. Alright. Um. Up here. Oh, that guy doesn't have a gun! Wait, I- they, they tried Donkey Kong you. It's on, like Donkey Kong. Ow! Stop fucking hitting me, you dicks! Oh, now it's- okay, somebody has a gun! Where are my guns? That dude Where? looks like he'd, he could almost be a hardcore wrestler. Oh, yeah. What? No! No! no. Wait, what? Am I good? Can I jump through here? Okay, uh... Oh, wait, did I... Oh yeah, that's right, I, I, I fucking gave up and I, and I enabled the give me everything button. Because I didn't like the... because the combat sucks so hard. It's fine, it's all about the journey. And, and, and if the journey sucks, you make it easier on yourself. Okay. So how long has it been since you played this game, Tomb Raider 2? Far too long. I, I played Tomb Raider 3 more recently than 2. 2 is a game that I, uh... That I barely remember. Um... 3 I had more experience in. Statistically, there's someone who, like, this is their favorite Tomb Raider game. Probably. And you know this game? All the others didn't get it, man. Oh, is this blocked action? Oh fuck! Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna drown. It's fine. I'll just, I'll just keep, uh, I'll keep healing myself of drowning injuries through, uh, through med packs. Okay. I think I fucked up somehow. 
Okay, back up here. I wonder if all the changes in uh, Twin Snakes were Kojima's decisions. Uh, I, I wouldn't know. If he was the executive producer, he probably signed off on him. Well, I going mean, from Metal Gear 1 to Metal Gear Twin Snakes is, is kind of similar to Tomb Raider 1 to Tomb Raider 2. Yeah. In some ways. So, are my... Can you not make that jump with, like, a running jump? Oh, that jump? That's a bit high. I, I don't think I can. I'll, I'll try it, though. No, just, just short. Oh! There's a fucking switch over here. Why is there a switch on a cargo box? What? <laughs> this... Okay, I'm gonna guess that that is the thing that, uh, that, uh, opens the grate at the very end of this, uh... Why does the cargo box... Are, are these cargo stuff? It is the same material that they would use to make, like, cargo stuff but it's just out like of. a weird underwater air vent. Oh, there was a- there was one de there was something down! I- okay, that must be what that- that opened. Alright. Wait! But this is the other side of- Ah! Uh, I am gonna take drowning damage. Oh well. That's fine. It is what so it is. That was just a secret. That wasn't even a way to go. Yeah. Alright, I got, I got, uh, supply, uh, yeah, yeah, it's... Okay. Almost dead! Oh no! It's fine! I'll pump it! I'll intravenously- myself. I'll intravenously pump air into my lungs, and there we go. Damn it. That's, uh, that is rough. Um, okay, secrets. J Dragon or J Cat? I don't know. Fuck, I'm locked in. I better find the other. Uh... Alright, I'm gonna save. Because I, I accomplished way too much. For the life of me, I can't remember where the fuck the guns are. They're not, like, too far in, but, like. You can. Can you platform onto the plane from here? Well, that, that was my next objective. Uh. Think this would be good? Nope, not there. How about here? Nope! Plane's too slippery. This isn't Mission Impossible Rogue Nation. Oh, from over there maybe? No, that's not... Is, is that a game where every surface is very sticky or something? No, that's a movie where, uh, where at some point, uh... Fucking, uh... Tom Cruise, uh like, holds on to the side of a plane as it's taking off. As one does. Yeah, clearly. Oh, they didn't introduce crawling until later! God damn it! That's a third game thing. She really... She she cannot fit into that gap. Not yet! She she becomes more limber uh, uh, when she before she goes to India. Okay, maybe the guys have... Alright, so... Okay, so maybe I'm supposed to go this way? Okay, I'm going this way then. What are those any Tomb Raider Button. Metal covers? Tomb Raider what? Metal covers. Uh, I probably looks I probably looked them up and get some from like the really recent games. So there is a switch in. on this wall that triggers a fuck the fucking like trap door to this plane. Okay. Sure. So seems legit. They just they leave her weapons on board, I guess. Well, okay, then this it goes here. There's another button which triggers which, okay, okay, we stopped the engines because the engine controls are in the cargo bay of the plane. Got Why it. was the engine even running? In case you know, in case you need to just get the fuck out really quickly, I guess. All right, so I'm in the water. I don't want to go near the propellers. That the alarm propellers... sure still is going off. Well, yeah, there's still shit going on. It's like a car alarm. Everyone just ignores it. Yeah. Oh, fuck off. 
Where did she go? Stealth mode. Oh, Stealth mode, Indy, let's get the fuck out of here! MP5. You were cheesing the fuck out of this with your 50 med kits. I don't want to deal with this, this shit! This is... This is awful! I don't like the combat in this game when it's just like... When it's just a constant non-stop enemy shooting at you. It's not good game design. Slap. I li Tomb Raider is a game about like exploration and you fight like wild animals. I don't know why they decided... Alright, so I guess I gotta get up here. I hope that dude doesn't like get to me. Are you jumping onto the engine? I'm sure I... I... See, I think if, I, I'm thinking that's the case, but I, I'm not a hundred percent sure. Okay, <laughs> you're jumping through the engine. D, none of the above. Well, they they built a, they built a, the engine out of semi-hard light technology. Clearly, <laughs> that's by design. They expected you to do that jump. I think they expected me to go off to the sides. What does it look like in... It's shinier. <laughs> I, if... <laughs> Alright, uh, and then I guess I go down here. I got my guns back! Got my guns back! I didn't get my shotgun back, you sons of fucking bitches! That's, you uh -huh. know what? That's fine. Clean break from uh, from my uh, ill-gotten gains. I, I I still have my med kits. I still have a bunch of flares. In good faith, I will I will give this game a chance to allow me to redeem myself from my from my cheaty McCheaty face ways. Just give me back my pistols. Fuck off, game. I'M RIGHT FOR YOU THIS TIME! I have basic firearms. I have supply, yeah, yeah. I don't know why I fucking taught Justin Timberlake got that song in my head. Was it NSYNC or was it like his solo career? It's your solo career. It's his final album before he fucking tanked. Well, the this album tanked. Okay. Cool. Or where's that other asshole? Give me your fucking mini machine gun! Now, can we turn this alarm off? That what? Oh my god! The guy, the guy, fucking DNA locked his uh, his uh, MP5. Okay, yellow pass card. No, but we'll be leaving this section. What a shame the Metal Gear games are so long and involved. Yeah, because they got they got really... so much fun to talk about. Yeah, they've got really insane stories. It's it's great. It's the kind of uh, thing you'd watch a video essay to, but not necessarily play. If that's not your genre. Yeah. Imagine imagine uh, a game having like that kind of like fucking. Guy with gun! You better give me your fucking mini machine gun! Oh, you're giving me Uzi clips! Wait, you're giving me Uzi clips? I'm not even the fucking gun you were carrying! Why are you carrying ammo for a gun you don't even own, buddy? Shit. There's, there's not even a dude pushing them. They're just automatically primed barrels. Oh, they're explosive, I guess. Do not explode. Wait, what? Oh, I need a fucking red pass key? Okay, what was I saying? Oh, yes. Um. So, game with, like, Metal Gear Solid S lore, but it's a fucking, uh... It's a fucking farming simulator or some shit. Something like that probably exists. Okay, well I got my guns back, but wait, what red key card? <laughs> Can you jump up somewhere? No, that doesn't go anywhere. 
oil rig. You want me to look it up? No. Well, keep that in the back. Keep that in the back pocket. Um, I'm gonna. I'm switching to uh, to normal mode just to see if. Uh, Maybe to see something. Yeah. See the code for what it truly is. No, I thought I thought I saw like a red key card in like down there. Oh, there's two paths. Never mind. And a button. Oops. Is this the turn off the fucking alarm button? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Cool. I'm glad they put a button there. Wait, what? That's neat. That is that is a neat fucking thing. The little things what in the games. Animation. Ah! Where did you come from? <laughs> Stealth mode. Go down, please. Thank you. Uh -huh. Cool. Health pack to uh, recover the health you lost from that. From that. Are there any wrestlers you can think of that look like that? Uh, the, any wrestlers that wear a do rag and camo pants? Uh, Men on a Mission, I think. I think Men on a Mi that was uh, Men on a Mission's uh, outfit. Uh huh. Just giving me med kits left and right. Okay. Well. Is this gonna open like something really bad? Uh, do rag and camo pants. That sounds like an attitude era. Like, uh... okay, who's here? You. Let's go down, bro. Thank you. It's the uh, love child of Macho Man and Sergeant Slaughter. Oh gosh. Oh, I think maybe Macho Man did that when he when he was like during a match. Everybody on his team was like Hulk Hogan and a bunch of other people were wearing like camo pants and stuff. Oh, we're in their fucking bunk beds? There's probably there's probably some goodies here. Maybe somebody left their fucking, uh... These are really spacious bumps, all, bunks, all things considered. Oh, yeah. They probably, I mean... You can almost stand up in these. You know, oil rig work is, like, one of the most dangerous... What is that? She, you, <gasps> you can't... That's why. Because she can't crouch. She needs to be able to stand up. In yes. Yes. Yeah, they haven't. She, they didn't. They didn't like figure out. Hey, we could have uh, Laura cr uh, crouch until. Uh... I'm just checking to make sure. Oh, hey. Also, oil rig work is, is like really dangerous. Uh -huh. Oh, did they give me back my autos? Yes. We're back in business. I missed you, babies. That is why I checked. Alright, let's top off. <sighs> Harpoons. Uh -huh. So we got the harpoon gun. Guess which gun only works underwater? Is, is it the harpoon gun? Yeah. It doesn't even work very well, like, above water. It does, it is literally... I guess that makes sense. Okay, but... But why, though? Did I trigger something? Well, whatever. Okay, I got the harpoon gun. Yeah. I mean, remember that, like, in the previous game, in order to, like, kill things in the water, like crocodiles and stuff, you had to, like, jump up out of the yeah, do out it of on the land, yeah. Yeah, so there's like so now there's like a like a uh, opportunity for you to I'm sure somebody dropped like a fucking No, nobody dropped any key cards. Wait. There's more room? No, there's yeah, just a no. I can't, roof. I can't aim up though, and I'm guessing no. For as much as this game tries to be realistic compared to games of its era, there's a lot of, like, really obvious shit that you just can't do because it's a video game. Or because it's PS1 video game, yeah. Like, in this era. They, they made an attempt. Uh, they just double-checking in, in uh, Lore Vision. <laughs> Alright. So... I got a harpoon gun on this side, uh, and 
and it seems like there's nothing else here. So... I like, disabled the alarm. That might have triggered something else further in. You ever play Frogger on the PS1? I think I did. I think they ported the it to the PS1. Yeah, I think I think they ported it to PC and I played that one. Yeah, there's a PC version. Yeah, I that looked was... up the uh, I looked up the retro achievements today and it's got like uh, additional challenges for each level. Oh no. Which is insane to me because that's like having egg bonus challenges in battle toads. It's a ridiculously hard game already. Oh man. Imagine Battletoads having a New Game Plus mode. Oh, that's bulletproof. Uh... Well, shit. You know, for a game that's like, that's like mostly linear, sometimes when it does it, when it throws you a curveball like this, you can't help but wonder, okay, well, what the fuck do you want me to do? Lounge and bunks. Burner room. Have you Fine. been to something that is like a burner room? Is that... My god! Shut up with the fucking alarm! Alarm! Off! So that's the trigger, okay. Uh, no, I haven't seen a burner room. Did you press a button in the bunk bed's room? There's a button, okay. No, I did not see a button. Maybe that... it'll be more visible in PS1 mode. Yeah. PS1 mode, activate. Sounds like, like, basketball gym noises. Yeah. Someone's playing b-ball in the distance. Okay. It's, it's in this room, says the guide. Uh... Maybe it's in the rec Oh, there it is! <laughs> so mean. That's that's mean as fuck. Okay, and that triggers that up there. Good to know. Can I jump up there? Oh, hold on. I got it. Do this. Then. Oh, is that? Is that I can grab onto that. Can I? Wait, what? Oh, it's fucking timed! That's... Oh, that's awful. That is fuck... That is bullshit. Okay. What is the purpose of this button? Was, was the, the occupant of that bunk, was he the button guard? <laughs> Look, if you're whoever sleeps here, don't go hitting the button for the maintenance panels. It's not a good prank. I installed this button so that I can drop eggs on the guys in the back bunks at any time. <laughs> they don't know it's me. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> Alright. Okay, and for jump. Uh, wrong way. Other side, asshole. It is the other side. Fuck. Fuck. Alright. Tip three. There was no reason for this to be timed. No, no reason, except to be funny, I guess. Wait, what? I don't know why they did that. Okay, so... Right side, jump left. Dude, what if it closes while I was, like, hanging on? What do you think happens? I'm curious. I don't know. Do it! Nothing. That, that I see. It's that, it's that semi-hard light that, the, that these guys are using again. It's impressive technology for an oil rig. <laughs>
I think we found the burner room. All right, new plan. That's a mean trick, because you'd want to go forward, but then... But if you don't, you're just going to die you immediately. You have to die before you know that. Yeah, that's that's mean. And the PS1 versions of these games had limited saves, too. You could overwrite saves, right? Or... No, they had like limited, limited saves. In a playthrough? You, had to, you had to collect them. The, uh, there were crystals. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to guess that I need to push uh, the boxes. Hmm. Well, you can't push them onto the burner. There has yeah. to be like a button to turn it off behind them or something. Yeah. Unless you're pushing them into a position where you can like uh, jump over the flames. Can't push them onto the burners because of uh. Hmm. Curiouser and curiouser. Okay, I think I got I think I know what I have to do. I wonder if there's at least any mechanics in the newer Tomb Raider games that would uh be interesting on a Smash Brothers character. Uh because we talked about this. The early Laura doesn't really have anything stand out in terms of gameplay. No, she's got two pistols. Um she can jump good. Side a side uh, attack could probably be the swan dive. She'd have that uh she'd have that Belmont air mobility. Once she jumps she's committed. I don't think they want you to, to jump over this. I think they do. This, this, uh... I think, I think this is... This is a, this game, I'm overthinking this game quite a bit, so... Yeah. What is this room for? This isn't quite as oh, egregious no. as Hall of Saws, but it's still just like a room that really doesn't serve a purpose. You know, we bring out our giant frying pan and we make fried eggs every day. Alright. Oh. What are you... Okay. Hello. I'm just wait, waiting in this hallway. I can't believe I lost my shotgun. That sucks. Alright. You know what? All right, you drop anything useful? Med kit. Uh -huh. Red key card, cool. Probably circle around. Sure. Let's see what's up there. So you're having no problem seeing like what's on screen. Everything's kind of bright to you. Uh. I wouldn't call it bright, but I, I can see well enough. Yeah, I have I'm having a bit of trouble, and I think it is my monitor. I need to get a new one. Plenty to get a lot of new stuff. Need to get a seat for my uh, shop. Oh, well, that's an easy secret. Where's the last secret? I got two of them. I might as well know where the last one is. Uh, silver dragon. We got the silver dragon. We got the jade dragon. We just need the gold one. I'm a silver dragon. Would you was that around at any point that you were in Battleground? What the silver dragon? The Chinese restaurant used to be the Silver Dragon. Oh yeah, yeah, we went there all the time. Well, then the owner died, and it became I think it's called Golden Tent now. Golden Palace. Something. Yeah. Yeah. No, I was around for that. Uh, yeah, they had the before it was Golden Palace. Yeah, they had they had the best uh, like egg rolls. They were like just huge and deep fried and stuff. It was. It was it was great, and then okay, so that's where this case. Okay, so all right, everything's making sense now. Yeah, uh, the local Chinese place is uh, is just the a Mandarin place, which is my suburb name, Mandarin, and it's it's all right. 
Um, their chicken, they, their chicken's like very under flavored though. It's just like you taste pepper and that's about it. Yeah. I can't get the the general sows or the orange chicken or the sweet and sour because of um, obvious reasons. All right, I'm here now. I do not want to redo like thirty minutes of this. Make too much sugar. Yeah, yeah. Hello, Onvar. How you doing? Hey, Onvar. No, that's the wrong way. We were gonna go. We gotta go to the left. You know what's uh, what's uh, what's kind of what kind of sucks? I miss getting what? lost in in these ga in the uh, in these in the levels. I kind of want I kind of want it to be more open, even even though. Like as opposed, like more like Tomb Raider one or yeah, more like Tomb Raider one. That's why I like Tomb Raider three. Tomb Raider three feels like like it was big enough that you could allow your fuck off. I thought you were saying like I wish I didn't have. Oh, where'd you come from? Behind me? I thought you were saying like I wish I didn't have prior knowledge of these games and I could well, experience them again for the first time. Oh, uh, that too, but um. But like, I wish that uh, that they were more like. If there was one game you could do that for, just like wipe your memory and experience again for the first time, what would it be? Um. Shoot. I'll have to. I'll have to think about it. I might say Majora. Majora, that was fun. Um. Then I have to relearn a lot of shit that I've learned since. I want to see the other side of it before I commit to determining where to push this block. Uh. Yeah, I'll, uh, that'll be a question that'll be bugging me for the rest of the stream, probably. What do you want from me? Up there? You want me? You want to go up there, Timmy? Did you happen to see where the uh, where the last uh, where the gold dragon was in this level? It's after the green card, so we're not we're not there yet. Okay, cool. Uh, save here. Okay. We can build a rap song around this. One of those really annoying ones that has the alarm going on all the time. Oh yeah, that 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 this is a song. Uh, it's called "Wake Up." It was by Clipping. It was my well, least favorite. There's a, there's off of a that number album. of them. They didn't. I think NWA had one. Uh, six in the morning. Uh, there's one called "Break the Madness" by Cirrus, which is I think like. It's like an electronic hip-hop band that Aaron Carter was a part of or something. That's interesting. And that has this kind of a annoying alarm noise going on throughout the entire song. Oh, man. It's not a bad song. It's just, it's funny how often I hear that. <laughs> oh, man. Remember when 2 Unlimited, uh... <laughs> 2 Unlimited... I still, I love the fact that, like, 2 Unlimited decided to do the soundtrack for, for like, for fucking an un unknown, like, uh, Japanese, like, shooter game when they ported it. <laughs> fucking, I... <laughs> but only the port, not the original game. God, remember when, uh, when, when Wickersham, like, he, I, I, I was like, hey, you gotta get him to play this. And then he's like, what, is this that, y'all ready for this? Oh, right, that's the game you're talking about. Yeah. 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 What was that? It was like a, a Super NES or it something? It was a Super NES game called Biometal. And it was a sh it was like a ship shoot 'em up Yeah. That just, it mostly just used that one song a ton. It had well, others, but... It had every, it had every, like, most songs from that, from that album that, uh, Y'all Ready For This was, uh, was on. It was, uh, Danger Zone, that... Uh, in other in other songs, I. 
I, I got it as, like, as, That's also the most noteworthy thing about the game. The game itself was very underwhelming. It, it had some interesting mechanics. Fucking shit. Alright, let's try that again. This is gonna be a very awkward jump, but I don't think I'm doing this right, but I but I really don't see any other option. Just I I'm not going to make that jump. I know I know instinctively. So Fuck. Bonk. Maybe try to do a video essay about the thing that makes Laura like Croft such a such an interesting character is that fact that she's able to die a lot. And I'm like and she's like he doesn't like prefer he doesn't like the uh, badass Laura Croft. And I'm like, I like, I like the badass Lara Croft. I, if I wanted to play like as a, uh, as like a girl trying to just struggle and survive, I'd play like, uh, I'd play Clock Tower. Hold on a second. That was it, that was a selling point of these games is that you were able to, uh, like the, the amount of death animations uh -huh. and everything. Yeah, they did put a lot of like. You're gonna give me? Why is everything fucking like like DNA locked? It's just Which is kind of amusingly also a selling point for Crash Bandicoot, just that's a lot more cartoony. Yeah, that's a lot more cartoony. This is, um, brutal as fuck. Okay, I don't think I'm supposed to be here yet. I don't have the e-card. Wait, there's two. Okay, so that exits out to that. It's also a thing where, in a lot of cases, developers or publishers won't let, like, anything too gruesome happened to a female character, so oh, it's nice that this game broke the double standard. Yeah. You get impaled, you can... Cool, we, we filled that up! Alright. You know, I, I was here, I'm like, oh, there's a dead end, and I immediately triggered uh, PS1 vision because I didn't want to, like, leave and be like, where the fuck is it? You're, uh, you're breaking up a little bit for me. I hope that's not happening to the stream. I hope not either. Is it still happening? Uh, not at the moment. Okay. Alright. And... Oh, man. Good thing that wasn't acid. That would have been... Oh, I guess it could have come out. If... Because of that ladder. I'll bet if you really tried there would be a way to design a Laura in Smash such that she has like kind of kind of auto linking moves in like limited directions of movement like she always falls diagonally in the same direction and that like works into combos somehow or something <laughs> i'm sure people would be like this is a joke character oh uh okay that feels like the only way to really translate these games into something like that. Yeah, the uh, the Crystal Dynamics trilogy, I think, would be a better uh, would be better or more feasible. Is that the what were those? The PS2? It was uh no, it was uh, Xbox uh, PS3, I think. Or was it PS2? I think you're right. It was uh. It was uh, Legends, Anniversary, and Underworld were the three games. Okay, well, what we does this... We haven't talked about it. Yeah, go on. Uh, what does this game want from me, then? Game, what do you want from me? Is it just there's an invisible okay, wall there you we can go. jump over that? Alright, I'm, I'm in. There's wonky pipes. Okay, this will probably fill the other side. No, that opens. Oh my god! More Fuck. trap doors. Fuck you, game. Hey, I know it's, what? it's on a timer. If that, if it's on the timer, I'm going to shit. Nah, I'm gonna shit my mouth. We haven't talked about it in a, in a very long while. Is there like a character you would want for Smash? For the next Smash after the after the one. Uh, yeah. Like, who, who is your most wanted at this point in time? That better not have been what I thought it was. It was. God, please don't tell me that it was on a timer. Oh no, it's on a timer, isn't it?
Nope, it's not. Good. I should have Did saved you, before I got down there. You were there. so worried about the timer, you just dived right in. I could have died there. I didn't, but... Is this, is this another one of those jape ramps? Are we going to die for this? No. No, no they decided to be merciful. Catwalks room? Oh, wow. This this looks really sweet. Uh, what game? What, what uh, character would I want? Um... Announcing the dude from Lagoon for Smash. People would collectively go, "Who?" And then they and then they uh, they announce what game it is. And they'd be like, "What?" And then they play it. And then they'd go, "Why?" I don't think I can make that jump. It doesn't look like a makeable jump. So I'm supposed to fall in the water? Is there? Oh, there's a there's a platform on the left. You can't make it to that one. There's a platform to the left? It's dark. Try the other mode. Oh, okay, yeah, I see it now. God. This is the level of, like, janky-ass jumps. I cannot believe that worked. J-A-J. -J. Jank ass. No! no. <laughs> Did you not... Uh... No, I saved. It, this level's bit. This uh, part of the level's big, though. No, I was gonna say, what wet ass pussy is in the latest uh, Weird Al Polka medley? Oh wait, <laughs> he censors it, but it's in there. With some wet ass. I'm glad that he's still doing albums. Is that from an album, or is he just fucking? I assume so. Dick. Okay, uh... Wait, how am I... That's too close. I be... can't jump that short. What, do you want me to, like, step lightly over this gap? I can't do it. I could try. Maybe maybe it'll work. This game, this game's janky enough that it could potentially... What if you just I run did. off? I just run off? That'd be I mean, funny. Like, you, you fall and grab the thing. That would be funny. Good thing that didn't happen. Another janky ass jump. Or is there a button? There's not a button. Okay. All the other kids with the jank ass jumps. Whee! Cool. Alright, and then I can jump over there, but I want to get whatever this guy had over here. Alright, Luigi, the next part of our base requires platforming. There, there's no way she'll make it through. I got the shotgun! I got Only my we can make these jumps. Fuck yeah. I got my shotgun back. Thank God. Imagine porting this level to Mario 64 and being able uh, to jump around as Mario. Oh, man. Oh. Oh, no! Fuck. Oh, you got your shotgun back. <laughs> yeah, I got my shotgun back. Uh, give me a moment. I'm going to... Shotgun battle. We should both be hamburger. Mori is deceptively tanky. He can only take two shots. Is there another fucking guy with a gun? Uh -huh. Guy with gun. Gunshot. I thought that was a gunshot. Oh, they're down. He's downstairs. Okay, there's a golden dragon. Wait, what? Is oh, is that him? Yeah, that's him. He's just chilling. Boy, I bet you wish you had a sniper rifle right now. That's fine. I have I have pistols. That's all I need. So these, I thought the pistols were infinite ammo. They're not. No, uh, those are the automatic pistols. They're slightly stronger than the than the OG auto stuff. Oh god. All right. Oh man. Oh fucking hell. Are we safe? Yeah, I want to get that dragon. It's I, I see it down there. You're going to have to, like, drop down, I assume, right? Mm. No, that's too big a jump. That's, that's too big, big a drop. Jump. Yeah, but there's water, so... Whee. 
There's another one? There's fucking all sorts of... This, this, you're right, there is also one on the ground level. Uh -huh. Gives me... Whoa! Oh no, he's right next to you. How do you get here? Hey, guess what? That, that bone, that was Uzi's. Were they just waiting on the other side of the pillar? No, they, that was the reward what, for getting dude, all the secrets. Dude, dude what? this dude just got a crowbar. Harpoon him from the water. I, I like the way he think. Hold on. Hey. What's the matter? You can't get me? Oh, can she not aim? Uh, he's, he's retreated. Oh, I'm getting shot at from... I gotta, I gotta address this situation. Dude, Uzis, man. That was the reward. They just were like, hey, Uzis. Remember when these were the ultimate weapon in, uh, in Tomb Raider 1? It's like you got the magnums, and then the the, the uh, automatic pistols replace the magnums, and then you got the uh, Uzis. All right, where the fuck is this guy? Is he on the other pillar? Because these guys were apparently hiding out on the opposite side of this pillar. They they just appeared once I grabbed the. And the bullet came from the direction of that other pillar. He's. I'm taking shots, but there's no what. There's a fucking sniper. There's a fucking sniper at UA. Where did that one come from? There's a fucking. <laughs> There's a diver with a fucking. <laughs> Harpoon battle! It took our idea. Explains so much. There's a second one! <laughs> Come on! Oh my god, he's fucking he's hit me! To wipe you with a crowbar? He's. This is. Or with his with his gun. All right. This was fun. This this. So you have to deal with guys up above with shotguns, and then and then you go in the water. Oh, the water's gonna be safe, and then fucking divers will come after you. Did you guys drop anything? Probably not. Cause th that would be jankier than it already is. Okay. Alright, is that everyone? Did I kill- did I kill everybody I needed to? Stand around, see if you get shot. That's how you can test. <laughs> Wait for the hit scanners to, like, come get me. Yeah, oh man. So, um... Uh... You can oh, tell. That, is that a ladder? Yeah, there's a ladder. All right, cool. That's how I can get back up. I can. So. So um, can, can you tell why I, I think that this is my least favorite of the of the trilogy now? It's yeah. just. Can, can you blame me? They could have just had like, a, a death zone if you fell, but no. If you fall, you just you get shot at by ten dudes. <laughs> Like, a, like it's fucking Plutonia or some shit. Honestly, I, I would have... If the combat system was better, this would be this would track better, but, like... The combat in this game is... It's not the best, so as a result, it's just like... Imagine this game, but every time combat initiates, you get Devil May Cry music. <laughs> oh, dude, you get, that, you get that music from Messiah, that hard rock... Uh, we were talking about Archipelago earlier. Yeah. I found out that uh, Mario 64 is more involved than I thought it was. Not like setting up, but there's more that you can do with it. Oh, yeah? You can uh, you can unlock moves. Like Unlo you start without a double jump, triple jump, crouch jump, backflip, etc. What? You can't and do people shit. have to find those for you. So you can't, you can't do anything until Mario gets like stuff unlocked? And you, there's like a lot, uh, yeah. Wow. And there's, so you'd have to like learn a logic for what you have access to in Mario. 
That's inter- Oh, is that more fucking alarms? God damn it. Red alert! All hands to battle stations! In a world. There's, there's a green card. Is it like glass? Yeah, that's what I'm trying to find out. I tried to use the harpoon, but that didn't work out, so let's just do the regular. There we go. Another alarm! Another alarm! Why is this in glass? Is this a holy artifact? Okay, well, I got the green card. So I gotta. She's stolen the green key card! Where are my ten guards? They're dead, sir. One day me, or someone like me, is going to kill you and your whole fucking army. Oh man. Tomb Raider, except, uh, except she has to fight the arachnids from Starship Troopers. That'd probably be less infuriating than the fucking, like, guys with guns. Who just kept fl uh, Oh, the... Yeah. Guys with guns. Guys with guns. Taking over. I won't be long. How the fuck does that the rest of that song go? I don't know. Is that gorillas or is that blur? Gorillas. <laughs> Blur is very traditional, like, apparently... I know they're both uh, Damon Oliphant projects. Uh, what's weird is that, is that, like, there was a rivalry between, like, uh, gr like uh, Blur and uh, Oasis, I guess, between those fans. Which is weird I because... That tracks for Oasis. Like, Oasis songs are very... They're very different than, like, Blur songs. Like, Oasis songs have that kind of energy... Of like being like, uh, what do you th what do you think? Like just slow and like, and like uh, and like introspective. I can't think of any Oasis songs offhand. Uh, Wonderwall. Oh yeah. That's well. Many people's least favorite Oasis song. Um, but uh, but Blur. I just listened to a Blur song and it's just like, it just sounds like. Uh, Sounds like rock. I mean, it's good yeah. rock, but it's just, it's like, Oasis was different, and Blur was just kind of... Radiohead apparently hates that Creep is their most popular song. I don't blame them. Because Radiohead, uh, they want to put, they put out, like, stuff that is, that is more like, you know... Like... I, I, I was not gonna provoking. say... I was gonna say snobbish, but... Okay, not Foppish. That. A foppish, snobbish. Okay, well, I can't go back. I thought I was going to do that, but I guess not. Um, well, where do I go now? We didn't see any place to use the green key card, did we? No, I know where to go. I know, I, I know where the green key card is. I'm just like... Where the green key card point is, I just <clears throat> I need to know how to leave here and go back to that room. Uh. Wait, why is the this is the first time like being underwater? Is different in the PS1 versus the fuck? Different how? The sound. Listen. Oh, Sounds yeah. like it's underwater. Now it's from running water. And them divers still hanging out. Uh, the exit, the way to the exit starts from the footing in the opposite corner from the one where you got the gold dragon. Oh. So the two, so the so the ones with the two, uh, with the two uh, dead like baton dudes. All right, so corner That's where opposite. That's gold dragon. Yeah, yeah. So 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 it's. I'm gonna have to check. 
So not this one. Is it this one? This was where the dragon was. Nope, because there's no dead bodies. Uh, I don't see any dead bodies over there, and that way that was way too far. So let's get, let's get, let's find a true north. Let us, uh, let us find where the dead bodies are. Did they disappear? I hope they didn't disappear. That'd be rough. Wait, I think it's over here because I... Okay, no, it is this one. Because you remember the diver position? Yeah, because I was fleeing from the divers. We're like, we're, why are we getting shot? And then... Yep, it's this one. So so it's opposite in like the opposite corner? Yeah. Okay. Sorry about having to ask you. I know I'm the expert, but uh, like I'm... Like again, this is this is the one I know the least about. What game do you think you know the best out of any video game? Uh, probably Link to the Past. I played that like a lot. I know, I know like all the ins and outs. I know some secrets. If we ever play that again, like do a full stream, then then I, I'm reasonably sure I can get through that pretty quickly. Although there are some temples that still give me a little bit of trouble. I think my main difficulty is that, um, is that I, I don't know if it's because of, like, my two rounds of COVID or because, because of my pots. I, my short-term memory is just fucked. That's the one we only did one stream of. Mario RPG is the one that we got halfway through and then there was, like, a crash. Yeah. Honestly, if I were to play that again, I'd want to start over from, like, the, uh, the remaster. Because I like the remaster. Yeah, I was trying to cheese it. I kind of uh, wish Super wrong Mario... Wrong way. Wrong way? Okay, other way. Got it. I can't believe that worked. Okay. Oh, so, uh, so I read a fanfiction recently. I think yeah. I told you about it. It's called Justice. It's a, uh, crossover between, uh, uh, the Justice League, that, that, uh, animated show from, uh, back in the day. Yeah. And One Piece. Okay. So, and it's very interesting because it's like, it, it because it's like, the Straw Hats arrive in the, in that DC-verse, right? And, yeah. uh, and they, they, their whole objective is to get home, but it, it, it the, the fan fiction ends up being about. I shouldn't have done that. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna load because I don't know when I saved. I'll just go, I'll just redo it. Um, because it, it did, it, it like, it's a basically about like the weird, uh, like, uh, like culture shock and like, and like, keep, like cultural differences between, like, uh, the. The Straw Hats and, and, like, the Justice League. There's a lot of, like, bright, happy shit in the, like, tonality in the One Piece universe, despite there being a lot of, like, uh, government corruption and shit. Yeah, uh, ask me... DC-verse is very dour, by contrast. Yeah, but at the same time, more optimistic, which is a weird... Ask me if the Straw Hats trust the Justice League. Do the Straw Hats trust the Justice League? Not in the slightest! Well, okay, they think they think they're, like, good right now but they have a but the author writes the the uh straw hat pirates as be having a low opinion of the concept of justice because the 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 marines of the world government are so shit i mean that makes perfect sense they are yes they're the super cops of the dc verse yeah and they're like well it's not just the fact they're super cops it's the fact that like like uh the the marines are like corrupt as shit and and they're like, oh, oh no, no, no! And they all, and uh, they also are keep, are keeping things on the download. They basically become like criminals in in uh, there. They're trying to just earn enough like money and resources what, so that what are what are you doing? I don't Why know. Making... Okay, Jack, switch to the other graphics. The platform goes further. You're really not seeing like most of the platform. It's you're so trying to dark. Jump to. Okay. 
<laughs> that dark. Fix your monitor. I, I, I can't. I need a new one. I can get distracted with my story. Um. So they become criminals in DC verse. Yeah, they're trying. Uh, uh, Frank. They're trying to get Frankie to. Frankie's like trying to build a portal to get back to where they came from, and they don't even remember how they got there. I have to jump, don't I? Fuck. Uh, I think they have it's they have it up to um their crew members are up to uh Jimbe. Yeah. So yeah, that that tracks. I think it's before Wano, but after after whole cake. You would rather read One Piece fan fiction than the One Piece manga. I read the I I, I fucking I I saw I saw what happened to fucking Sanji Sanji I I, I Sanji uh, has like I think the third worst uh, back backstory uh, in second of uh, the second worst. One Piece has a lot of very like. You look at it and it's this happy cartoony series, but like all the backstories are really fucked up. San Sanji got the raw fucking deal, and and all throughout a whole cake. I'm just glad I didn't watch through whole cake because I was just like, no, stop, no. And then and then fucking Nami having that that moment where she was just like, oh, he's abandoning us, and then Luffy being like, I'm not eating anything else until my crew member comes back with me. It's just like that. That was that was sad. A better version of the Sasuke retrieval arc. Oh yeah, one hundred percent. Although I will say that that him his last name being revealed as Vin Smoke. Uh, oh, that's a great that's a great ass name. Ah, fucking. <laughs> you know what? Uh, this is not going to be another opera house uh, because because I am one hundred percent sure that I am. Certain, this is my fault. This is like I have recurring dreams uh, when I was a kid of uh, of like just trying to climb on something and keep and I keep falling over and over. This is the first area. This is the first level of this area of six. Oh, wait till we get to three. Those are longer. <laughs> Dude, in India is gonna take like five hours. <laughs> <laughs> at least, at least it seems like there's just four four levels per section, so we get through this one. I'm surprised, like they they're just hitting the marathon levels early in this game. Uh, anyway, uh, they start. Anyways, the Straw Hats realizing they 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 start recruiting uh villains from uh from the DC uh. Like, that uh, sounds like a great idea. How does that go? Uh, actually, pretty well. Um, one of them is is Solomon Grundy, the zombie dude, and Brooke is like teaching him zombie jokes. Yeah. Uh, they recruit the ones that are more misunderstood and given a bad shake than like the actual killers. Yeah. Because because that's the kind of people they are. And uh, I hope this is not gonna. Okay, good. I'm gonna save now. Don't want to redo this. Uh, okay, okay. Now far to left, one. left. You see it? Yeah, I see it now. I remember. It's just dark. There we go. Yeah, on minimum brightness settings. I don't... I, be... I know, you, I'm sure your monitor doesn't have those settings. It's just dark for whatever reason. Yeah, I tried turning on the, up the contrast. It didn't really help. Okay, so I'm supposed to be here. I guess. It said to go this way. Okay. So I missed something obvious, as I want to do. It's the opening above the catwalk on the end wall, just before the ledge where you got the green pass card. Okay. This one. No. This is just before the ledge. This is the ledge where you got the green card, right? So it's this one, then. Oh, there it is. You see that? Nobody looks up. Okay. Okay. Look. See this? See this? Yeah. You see why? You see why I had trouble, right? <laughs> All right. You know what? I'm good. I'm just gonna load.
that was. Uh, it's always that one like percent of things that you just miss. It's also this. obscured by like that that triangular piece on the roof. Yeah, that's a uh, that's some that's some uh, mean level design. All right, save. Uh, what else happens in that fanfic? Uh. Oh, Flash, uh, Flash steals, like, Luffy's hat as, like, a joke when they were at Brooke's concert, because that's one of their ways of making legit money. And he gets so mad, he goes into second gear and actually outspeeds the Flash. And at one point, uh, like, so, they, so Chopper was, like, in order to make some money in that universe, uh, like, the first thing they do is, like, okay, we'll just sell our medicine for, like, for, like, uh, for, like, a good for like a decent amount of uh, price, and the the people in the front of the company were uh, were uh, Nami and uh, and Sanji, and like Clark was in like his uh, his fucking uh, the Superman was in his Clark Kent mode. He discreetly uses X ray. He saw like Nami's like muscles and was like, "What the fuck? Why is she so so strong? Her muscles are like super dense." And then, I guess, like, default One Piece characters are stronger than default DC humans. Yeah, to the point where Batman was like, I think these guys are aliens. I think they're aliens, and we... Just fucking go down, buddy. Okay, where are we? I don't remember her ever having any particular feats of strength, but One Piece characters are definitely, like, certifiably tougher. Yeah. One like, Piece... they're hard to kill. Yeah. And, but he also looked at Sanji's legs and was like, What the fuck? This guy's legs... Uh... Okay, okay, I see, I, I remember now. I know what we're, I know what we have to do. So that'll transfer the water from there over there, and then we can cross. We did all that just to just to change the water more easily. Water Temple 2.0. No, this this is a uh, this is Water Temple 3.0. Water Temple 2.0 is Great Bay Temple. This actually came out before Great Bay Temple, right? Maybe. Majora's Mask was 2000. Okay, yeah. So this so that I would actually make a Great Bay Temple Water Temple 3.0. It's like it's like Great Bay Temple is this is oil rig from from this game and uh, this is just busy work. Are you serious? What's the point? <laughs> oh, it's a gate. They're trying to block it off. I'm guessing we're at the end of the of the level. Yep. All right. Offshore rig took us an hour. The end level screens just really just pop up on you. Yeah. Okay. Where are we now? We are at the... Diving area! Okay. So I'm gonna go down Maybe here. it'll be fast. Maybe it'll be like a mini-game. Like the Zora diving. Oh, man. If there's a level that takes like three hours, that's going to be... That's going to be fucking amazing. How long was that? How long have we been going? Uh, time in in game time said about hour. yeah in game time said about an hour or so and we, and I didn't really we didn't really have to lose backtrack on a lot of progress okay either we go down there or we go up there I'm gonna say we go down there first never mind we're going up there <laughs> I didn't see those fans. You think you'd be able to like tell visibly if the water was moving? Uh, no. Well, I see the fans now. Okay, running jump. Like, surely even the PS1 would have been capable of, like, a texture slowly moving to the left. I'm guessing they didn't do that because, uh, because they had limited room on the discs. I don't know what the remaster... The remaster has no excuse. I'm guessing this shuts down the... Okay, the reason why that button's there is probably because this is time, but I'm going to check behind there to see if there is a <coughs> secret.
Okay, fine, I'll burn a flare, you you assholes. Great new additions to Tomb Raider 2. Darkness, damage sponges. Great new mechanics. Oh, uh, yeah. Is this... Grenades! I did all that for just some fucking explosives? I don't even have the weapon yet! But maybe I'll get it. And I honestly would have preferred a jade statue. Wait, so where's this water going? It goes into fucking nowhere. Yeah, it just sucks. It, it, wait, hold on. I see that. Switch. Let open something. Okay. That's a lot of guys. I should bring out the big guns. That's a lot of fucking people! What the hell? Okay, you guys... Uzi ammo. Cool. Wow, you, got, you fell through the wall, guy! That sucks! Shotgun ammo! Uh... save. Alright, so diving area. That means we're probably gonna do a water level! What the... Okay, I wouldn't have died. You still there? Yeah. Alright, just wondering. Uh... I'm gonna step away for just a second. Cool. I'll see you in a bit. Alright, let's see. Okay, guess one vision. Okay, so really there's just the one way. Okay, I'm going that way. Alright. Uh Oh, that's just a way back. Okay, okay, I, I see it now. That just goes. And I can go back up. All right. Uh, hmm. I'm going to guess that deals damage. Yep. Do I have to do a running jump? Oh my god. I don't want to do that. Just use it by... No, probably not. Alright. Fuck it. Jump! Yeah, I'm I'm trying to. I just I gotta I got it. This is gonna be this is a weird ass jumping puzzle. All right. W A J. Weird ass jump. Okay, cool. Oh, those are hazard hazards. I like bonk you. Yeah. I went down that other direction. It's just a way to get back up if uh, if you fall in the water. So. That wasn't too bad. I honestly thought it would have been a lot worse. Well, I got that guy. I got the other guy. What? Oh, green, green goo! I really hope I didn't softlock myself. It seems like that guy has an item. That looks important. Oh, fuck. Uh -huh. When's the last time you saved? Uh, it looks like just whatever that you just picked up was. A med kit? Hopefully pretty far back. Oh, I already killed that guy. Fuck! I don't think they would put someone 
with something important there, but that's Don't me having know. faith in the game developers. This game, this game is janky as fuck. I, I think I. Nothing else I can load a save, like, uh, like I can load a save ago and then just use the. Uh, I can load a save ago uh, at the last level and then just uh, level skip uh, forward to reset everything. Okay. Well, let's see. Hey, I got something. This is a secret. Nice. The pickup indicator showed briefly, but I guess it wouldn't let you like. No, because I was already I was already in the middle of a. <sighs> check the guide. Uh, see if the uh, check to see if one of those two didn't. Uh... uh, room with swinging hooks. Two guys. Two thugs with a gun and a Doberman. Okay, did they drop? Did those guys, were those club guys or gun guys? Club guys. I don't think they are because this looks like a point of no return, so I'm going to keep, keep going. Hold on. Small medipack and flares. Oh, that's it? All right. Acid! Oh man, I was hoping for a skeleton or some shit. Oh well. Fatality. Hello, Adam Green. How you or, doing? Or maybe, or maybe it's radioactive? Hey, Adam Green. Damn. That's mean. Alright. Okay, so we're through the, the room of boiling acid. What the fuck is this doing? Or radioactive waste? I mean, I, I don't know. Having a room like this makes slightly more sense than a hall of saws. <laughs> yeah. This is point... Uh, or the burner room. The burner room! <laughs> like like, it used... wasn't an incinerator. Oh. It was a fucking... It was a stove top. Just a giant stove top in a room all by itself. A range, that's what they call it. What a thrill. Just in a dream. Snake eater. <laughs> wow. There's, there's a theme song for ladders in video games now. Yeah. Because of that scene. <laughs> Why? Close your eyes, you can picture some stuff. He's really exerting a lot more effort than one would generally exert climbing a ladder. Yeah, just I don't know. Climbing ladders is like is like it's 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 more difficult than you'd think. Did a uh, does Link in uh in Breath of the Wild? He doesn't use up stamina climbing up ladders, does he? He doesn't lose stamina, huh? What? Does he? Does Link lose stamina climbing up ladders in Breath of the Wild? Uh, no. As okay. long as he's just, like, staying in place, uh -huh. his stamina will refill to full. Okay. He can still jump and use stamina on ladders. Alright. So we go up just to go down again. <laughs> cool. Good. That's good. Let's see what happens. I die. That's what happens. Alright. No, I'm still alive. Okay, we're in a tube. A sick half pipe. Uh, actually, I saved, right? Uh, yeah, I saved. Hello, Darian. Hey, Darian. I've, I've been having a field day with those new Doom ports. Oh, yeah, so, I saw you did. I saw you did. Oh, nope, wrong way. Uh, so it's the other way. They're apparently, like, uh, they're pretty expansive, and they're, like, free for anyone who already had Doom 1 and 2. Oh. 
they have like uh, mod support on consoles and uh, like new multiplayer maps and everything. Oh, cool. Oh yeah, I heard about that. Uh, I think Suey's gonna talk about it in his next video. Uh, I gotta, I gotta check those out. All right, so I'm up here. Uh -huh. I feel like I should. This is where I should be. Uh, did I miss any? Uh, I got that one, the, that silver cat. Uh, you're, you're really concerned with these secrets. I mean, I, if I get one of them, I might as well. All right, no. not supposed to be here yet. I need to find the blue key card. Wait, wait. I have an idea. You got the silver dragon, uh, yeah. Silver, I got the silver one, yes. Spot of that shit. The jade dragon is after a hall of saws. There's a hall of, there is a hall of saws in this game! Maybe, maybe I'm exaggerating. It says You're... a room with a circular saw. Okay, the Hall of Saw. Hall of Saw. Hall of Saw, the one, the si singular saw. <laughs> okay, that's, uh, so the only way out is, is here. <laughs> the... Oh, man. We, we say Hall of Saws, but we're not exaggerating. It was a, literally like a walkway, and then it was 360 degrees, like all-around sly of saws. Not just one singular saw, there are all sorts of saws. Big saws, small saws. Just, I've been no, putting, no, I, not I, uniform. I, I'm finally starting sly highlights. I, I put them off forever. But, uh, yeah. The Hall of Saws was a thing in Sly 2. That was just... It wasn't even really a platforming challenge. It was just a room full of cartoonishly varied saws that you would just crawl under. And that's the room. What it's like, what purpose does this serve? It's just, it, like, when you throw a log in there and then it just shreds it, it's just, it was in a lumber mill and it was just, like, there. And it was, like, logic, from a logical standpoint, it's like, what the fuck room does this serve? It, it's, the, the epi it's the epitome of the thing in video games where something is clearly meant to be, like, a platforming challenge, but could not possibly serve any purpose as a room or area. Yeah. It, which works if it's just like a pure platforming uh, game, but Sly has like plot. It's like places that are supposed to be used. It's just funny. Alright. Try this again. What? Burner room. Did you okay. just pull out a flare? I, I hit the hotkey for the flare. I don't know... What? What? What'd I do? I don't know what you did. I didn't hit a... Oh. Where did all your stuff go? Hey, I found the quick save button! <laughs> Alright, is this the... No, oh, okay. How did I do that? Doom and Tomb Raider are very antithetical games. To one yeah. Another. They are. Oh, I'm so glad I found out that the stick does that. I guess the one thing they can share in common is arguably bad platforming. Oh yeah, Doom Doom has that section, the chasm, where it's like every pixels time wide. Uh, I, I watch Joel's uh, Doom contest streams, and he he's he is pissed off every time someone wants him to platform in Doom <laughs> or Half Life. Half Life is really also not made for it. It's yeah, Zen. The best. That's the best part of the game. Uh, that fan remake of Half-Life 1 that fleshes out Zen a ton. Fleshes yeah, Black Mesa, that's what I heard. Alright, uh... Oh, man. The great thing about, about, about these, this level design, I guess, is that, uh, once you're through a section, you can be reasonably assured that you won't, like, double back to it at some point. Like, uh, like, remember, uh, King Midas's palace? Oh, yeah, a lot of doubling back in that. Oh, God, you... A lot you, of revisiting. Yeah, you had to go through a long security route through a bunch of, like, different places in order to get, like, a single bar of lead. That was... 
And yet you're doubling back, but it's not like you have a choice of which way to go first, most of, a lot of the time. Yeah. Well, I mean, I mean, with King Midas' palace, you could, like, choose where to go first. It's just that there was one particular route that was just, like, really long and involved. Okay, I killed Fort Dot. You. Oh, no! She set you on fire? <laughs> No! <laughs> Fuck In off! In any other video game, this would look like a power-up. You... Do you have... Can you not roll it out? Do you have to find water? Stop, drop, and roll is not, does not apply here. What a fucking dick move. At least I saved pretty re recently. See, this is a situation where she should be making noises constantly. She's, like, She's just kind of rolling with being on fire. Alright, let's do this again. A fucking Molotov at you. No, it's a flamethrower. Yeah, I don't get a flamethrower! Four dogs and a flamethrower. Dude. Yeah, I got you. What do you think is That's your favorite so uh, shooter franchise? Uh, fuck. You this doesn't me... count. No. Um. Shooter, shooter. Uh. Franchise. Do mods count? Do if I can if it's like a franchise that's easily moddable. I, I guess. Let's then say it, yes first. Then it's probably Doom because you can do a lot with the uh, with the G, with the uh, GZ Doom engine now. I saw a. Uh, it, it's it is impressive what you can do within the confines of just a Doom mod. I saw yeah. one in the in the most recent contest that was like it was Zelda one, but as Doom guy. Oh really? Oh that's neat. Um, I'm talking about the engine. Also, the engine itself, uh, yeah, has become. You should look up Sulaco. That's in. Uh, that's all in the the, the Doom. Uh... Oh, here we go. I see someone make a visual novel in the Doom what in the Doom engine. Oh yeah. <laughs> now let's say without mods. Uh. Oh fuck. Yeah, that's tough. Uh, that is a very tough. I don't. That would be, uh, yeah, I think it's because, I think that the, the problem, okay, I'm sure there's a switch somewhere I'm missing. I think the problem is that I know how I am. I'm a very scatterbrained individual when it comes to playing stuff. I play one thing for, for a lot, and then I bounce off to another thing. So if I was stuck with, like, one game for the rest of my life, I'd probably go insane. So that's why I have a lot of trouble, like, determining what my favorite I can I can tell you what like what like my top five are though. Yeah. Uh. No, uh, top uh, top five. Um, Doom. Uh, the Doom franchises. Uh. Oh. Franchise. I really like Blood. I don't know if you ever played Blood. Blood is very is a very good game. Uh, that's uh, that's on the build engine, which is a different and kind of jankier engine than uh... Okay, so there's a so I need to get a fucking uh, circuit board. Hopefully it's not underwater. That's an OSHA violation. You can't block that off. Yes, I can. I'm not, not you. That not you. Them. I don't think they give a fuck. Uh, wait. I can just do this. Okay, so that door is locked. That door is a no go. So I guess I gotta go. Can I reach that? No. Which means that I have to. I'm not supposed to be here yet. Okay, back to the rotating room of doom. Alright, so... 
Door number one, just uh, as soon as I go up to a locked door. Door number two, a uh, room with water with a bunch of locked doors. Is there any other doors? I like the idea of villain bases still requiring OSHA compliance. That's Venture Brothers in a nutshell. Oh yeah, that is... <laughs> that That is just like... The idea of super villains just being like legally mandated, legally uh, regulated. Oh yeah, just uh, otherwise, if uh, without order there would be chaos. This is only two doors, which means I gotta be somewhere. Sergeant Hatred threatening Monarch that he's gonna be such a better villain to uh <laughs> to the to Doctor Venture. Oh yeah, I am gonna make his life wonderful. And then uh, and then he ends up uh, jo joining him as like a security guard. And he puts a V on his uh, on his face. That's like what a dude whose like gimmick is entirely based on like one persona, and he wears like an H for hatred on it, just to uh, just to basically like fucking stand out, like the part of his package, and he has to join a, like a fucking like new stable, but he's still like part of that gimmick. Well, I already got this tattoo though. I can't get rid of it. And he changed it. Well, that was, I guess I thought it was face paint. Oh, I don't know. No. Okay, so I don't have that. What do you want from me, game? There's gotta be something down here, then. There's a tunnel. Yep, okay. There we go. Divers! <laughs> a tunnel in the quote unquote crate containers. Shipping I'm, containers. I'm ready for you this time, let's go! Very, very muted gun sounds under the, harpoon sounds underwater. Uh, okay, if you thought that the that the gunplay up above looked really bad. Okay, there's a fucking switch. The gun sounds in San Andreas are awful. Oh, yeah? Everything sounds like a pea shooter. Yeah. I If I ever... Like, I prefer my guns to be meaty and... More?! What is the fucking point?! Oh! Great. Well, I'm gonna die of a uh, of of drowning unless I constantly like get my emergency O2 supply. Colonel, I failed to avoid drowning. Where am what I going? What? Oh, was that a timer? Where are you supposed to go? I'm going back up. I I opened where I needed to go. Fortunately, yeah, I, I know that, but like, how do they expect you to do that without 50 med kits? I don't know. I don't know, and I don't care. I'm just. God, imagine you have to go there, go up for air. I think it's because I wasted a lot of time fighting that diver. If I didn't do that, then, then I would have had enough air. Okay. This seems like we're making progress, but I but again, the way these levels are situated, <clears throat> you don't know how much you're making. Like you're being trapped in a long conversation and there doesn't seem to be an end to it. And like at any point we could hit a level that takes us two hours or more. It's exciting, isn't it? There's adventure! Adventure awaits, huzzah! Okay, nope, I don't want the fucking harpoon gun right now. In fact, it's close quarters, look at this shotgun. I, how'd I miss it? What? There it is, fuck. I'm ready. Shotgun time. There, I 
think they buffed the shotgun in this game. Another one! Was it bad in the first game? It was, uh... Oh, the helicopter left. It was, uh, it was not bad. It was alright. I think that's, uh... What the ammo is that? Whatever. Isn't the uh, shotgun in Doom pretty bad? No, it's just decent enough. It's like the standard... Yeah. The, the, shotgun in, the shotgun in Doom 3 is is awful. The shotgun in Doom 3 is like... Because a, a workhorse weapon like the shotgun, theoretically, should just... You're up close to somebody, and you or like in mid, mid-distance, you shoot them, and they're, they go down instantly. Uh, which is how a shotgun should work, uh, theoretically. The shotgun in Doom 3, it doesn't ever, like, one-tap low-tier enemies... Unless you're like right up in their in their nose. Oh, okay. Well, what happens if this closes? Are you just trapped? Yeah, I'm like, what the fuck's the point? Is this a time waster? Oh, there's something here. Uh huh. Oh, that's that. M16? Random M16 in a fucking... Okay. I was investigating the oil rig when I, I conveniently tripped into an M16. Okay, well now what? I think I'm trapped. It's just, just too bad? GG. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna run forward, and I'm gonna keep going until I find water. First, I'm going to save. Not in the... Not in this one. But in this one. No fear! Oh. It's a dead end. It's just a key card. There is an item. Yes. Okay. Oh, Good that's probably the, uh, the circuit board. Yeah, that's the circuit board I need. I just fucked. I'm, uh, is there water on this side? Not for a while. I know where there's water, but... Nope. You seem a little fucked, buddy. I'm gonna try to unfuck myself. Wait! I have an idea! Yeah? Okay. Wait, oh, there's a button here. Oh, okay, it was possible to do all along. If I... We have to hit this one and then the other one and then make a run for it. And, yeah, you got, I gotta do the cooking by the book. Okay, I made it. Now, I grabbed the key card. Uh -huh. well, you made it, but the thing came back on. You don't run fast enough. Okay, yeah, but it's proven that I can get out. Yeah, you need to hit the right button first. No! I, I was able to get out! I... I'll just- I'll just do what I did before! Okay, is that- okay, and then... <laughs> Suck it! I'll jump over the fire. Uh, roll for precision. Nat 20! I guess you, I guess you jump out of the fire. <laughs> I'm so happy that worked. I should probably get the. Uh... There we go. I carried an M16. You ever played or watched a uh, Chibi Robo game? No, I haven't. Uh, oh, I. I've heard of it. I haven't uh, played it. No, I haven't either. I just I heard recently that the uh, devs are they have a Kickstarter for like a spiritual successor. Oh, cool. <laughs> Which is cool when that happens, but also a lot of the times that that happens, like the series isn't getting a lot of games because the audience just isn't, isn't really big enough to merit the sales. Or well. That could be, but uh, also uh, they're just stories of like uh, of like people who hold the license and they don't think it'll work. But you know, you yeah. never know until you put it, uh, the product out there. 
is, is, is the end result for a lot of that stuff. Okay, circuit board over here. All right, I got my uh, I got my assault rifle. I am ready for whatever you send at me. As much as I would love a new F Zero, the reason we don't get a new F Zero is because the games have kind of never sold. Yeah, and and you know they got their own racing game. And they're like, well, we don't want their idea. They don't want it to mesh. Oh, I told you about that uh, that game, right? What game? Uh, that uh, RPG. That ah, you son of a fuck! Yeah, I'll use the flamethrower in the water room. Hate you! Yeah, you mentioned to me that you found a square RPG where instead of a battle system, it, the battle system is racing. Yes, uh, it's called uh, it's called Racing Lagoon. Uh, I heard about it through a uh, through a Dungeon Chill who did a two and a half hour video on it, talking about it, and I think it'd be it'd be interesting for you to try out. Just that, like not even on screen, just like just like just try it out and see what you think. There's a mm -hmm. There is a uh, an English patch of it. Yeah, you you play as like a racer. What's up? Yeah, I don't know anything about the game itself, but it does sound like it. It sounds interesting conceptually. Yeah, the like racing instead of getting attack stats or something like an RPG, you get uh, racing you, stats or something. Yeah, you uh you you level up your uh like your you have like pieces of equipment for your car, and you level up your engine, your uh, body, and something else transmission and you race and then you earn points for that and if you level them up you can add more equipment to it and like parts and parts can increase or decrease your stats respectively and then you can ran and then you can either like run into random encounters where you race like other racers or you can challenge uh you can challenge racers like you just cars by flashing your lights at them and you get you force them to race them and it's got that like uh, that PS One like uh, like uh, CG like aspect to it that uh, that Square Enix was wanted to do during mm -hmm. the PS One era. It's own style at this point. Is it like is it is isometric? No, it's mostly racing. Um, the the uh, the the stuff involving cutscenes are visual novel esque. I say esque; they're not totally visual novel, but like they were. Okay. I mean, just like the regular. The gameplay outside of battles. Gameplay outside of battles is your is a free roam uh, in a car, top down, iso like top down perspective. It's not as involved. As, it's not like Fallout. It's not like Burnout Paradise, where you're just driving from one place to another. But uh, it is kind of like. Uh... Wait. How do we get down there? What kind of car do you think Laura Croft owns? Uh, Bentley. Can you look up the J Dragon on this level? Uh, diving area. Room with the pool and circular saw. Room with pool and orange tanks. Okay, this is, I'm in the room with pool and orange tanks. I haven't gotten to the circular saw room yet. Uh, it should be past the saw room. Oh, well. And we just didn't see the saw. There, there was no saw. Talking about this, there's, there's no fucking Silver saw here. Silver readout panel across from the entrance opens automatically when you approach. Oh, okay. Go in and push the button that opens the grate at the. Okay. Okay, I missed that. Right here. Did I grab anything from here? Did I push a button? God, why are all the Silver buttons so readout invisible? readout panel across from the entrance. I know I know exactly where it is, what they're talking about. It's this room, yeah. And of course the button is just hidden. In the darkness! You might call me an angel of darkness. <laughs> that game, that game is fucking weird to try and play. Alright, so what the fuck else am I supposed to do in this room? I uh, I got a key card to uh, open this room, and then there was a guy with a flamethrower in here and a guy with a baton, and I didn't I didn't. There's no switches that I see. What's the point Head of this for room? the underwater tunnel below oh. the wall with the small orange tanks. Oh, fuck. Okay. 
course there's an underwater tunnel. Yup, there it is. It's darker in the... Hey, use flares, asshole. No! Have some harpoon guys. I'm leaving. I don't give a fuck about you. How do I get out, out of this? I'm trapped. There's... Wait, is this... A submarine? It is a submarine. Okay, I'm gonna take care of these guys. Alright. You asked for it. I'm gonna... Cowards! I knew you were you were not man enough to fight me. Okay, maybe they'll come up here. They're not coming. I'm gonna have to fight them. This sucks. Like fighting these guys with the harpoon gun. The harpoon gun needs to be buffed, because it is just so weak, and then you gotta reload. I don't know why they decided to have a fucking reloading mechanic in this in this game with this gun. Well, we can't make underwater combat too powerful. It would be better if, like, it would make more sense if you were just using this to fight underwater creatures. But we only, the only, uh, like, level we regularly fought wild animals in was fucking... I, I guess we're going down to the sub. Guess so. Well, you know what? Oh. Yeah, the range on this thing is, like, bizarre. She can't aim up with it. It no, this game this weapon's not hit scan. That's what I'm having so much trouble with it. Fuck it. Oh, okay. That yeah, that was weird. Teleport, Mario. Uh Don't think I'm supposed to be down here yet. Whatever. Fuck it. Uh... So I'm here. There's an underwater tunnel. But... There's no way to get- Oh! It's over there! Fuck it. Fuck. Alright. It just blended in because- Because of how it worked! Cool! Oh, you found a- Yeah. Hey guys! Camera being very uncooperative, I see. I got him. Flip the switch. What does the switch do? All the way back there! Thanks, game! More die! Fuck it, I'm not fighting them. At least you could dodge these guys because uh, their their weapons aren't hit scan. Oh, he's up there. Okay, well I'm just not gonna deal with you. Oh, you know what I'm gonna do? Oh. What? It's like James Bond villain henchman. You'll never make it past my divers. Uh -huh. The. Dive. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> and then the dive. Alright, come on. Got the diver. <laughs> uh 
This this game is a bit too much sometimes with this fucking just throwing enemy after enemy of you, at, at you. Wait, these there... levels feel way longer than the first games. I don't know if it's because of the combat. I don't know. Like, like they're just bigger levels. Yeah, I do remember like plenty of combat in the first. Not in, to this degree. I obviously. But... Well, the combat was different because you were fighting like wild animals and stuff, and. And it's just, this game is just, like, you're fighting, like, non-stop, like... Guys with guns. Guys with guns, and... And it doesn't matter if your positioning is there, because if, because they'll hit you, and then you'll take damage, and then... It's just a gameplay loop that is just, like, not... Not really that satisfying to me. It's, it's frustrating, actually. Do you think that... The do you think this game would benefit from more stealth mechanics? Oh, there's the circular saw! <laughs> Just jumped right into it. I can't believe I remembered to save. <laughs> oh, there's the circular I thought, honestly, I thought I got electrocuted for a second. Alright, save again. You jumped into that like that fish dude in Slayers, who got bisected by Zalgata standing in one place with a sword. Yeah, that was hilarious. Okay, so this is the saw. So Wait. This will get her for sure! Wait. Wait. Go to it's Looney Tunes trap. I have to shut off the saw in order to get the fucking key card. The fucking kick it out from under there. <laughs> Grab a long stick. Grab the barrel of your M16 and just move to the saw. Hmm. This is a tricky situation indeed. Okay, can I How do I deal with this dilemma? Okay, can't. Can I, uh. Nope, that's not gonna do it. Alright, think, Laura, this is a high IQ play. Uh. Guess I gotta climb up there. This is. This is the dumbest fucking thing. Like, okay, So, things we have, uh, things we've dealt with in this stream. Not being able to get into a four-foot gap because Laura cannot crawl. Not being able to shoot a window that is seven feet off the ground because she cannot aim slightly up. Oh, God, not being God. able to get a key card out from beneath a circular saw by doing almost anything to just <laughs> kick it out from under there. Yeah. Okay, so I have to go back to the fucking helicopter room now. This is... I don't even remember where that fucking room is. Is it like through two tunnels? I think it's through here. No, it's not through here. Or is it? No, because here, here is where we got the, the, the dragon. So the, you said the gold dragon was in the circular saw room? No. The gold, the final one is in the final room. Okay. It said something about like a monk. Okay. Alright, I know what they're talking about now. I somehow remember where the fuck the... Ah! Why are we here, story-wise, again? Uh, we got... We were going on a plane to, like, uh, to, like, fight, uh, the cultists, and then we just ended up here, and now Laura's just, like, we're just, like, we're trying to get home. We're just gonna get out. No, we're, we're trying to stop the dude from, uh... From doing sketchy things with a fucking dagger. The, the main... The, there's an Italian dude that wants to become a dragon, and, and Laura's like, Fuck no! Can't let that happen. It was the 90s. Furries were still demonized. Okay, this this fucking machine gun is not really doing it for me. I'm gonna have to go back to my Uzis. I think this is the way back to the... 
this Italian guy is going to use the dagger and she's going to hear a power-up noise and then I'll go, Wowie Zowie! <laughs> Wowie Zowie, that's fucking uh, Putt-Putt, not uh, Mario. That's the noise when he turns into Elephant Mario. Is that really? Oh, wow. Still gotta play Wonder. Has Mario ever been a dragon? Uh, no. Dragon Mario. Okay. Are you looking that up? E621.net? What? You, you, you've never been to E621.net? Oh, is that like a, a furry art thing? It's, it's furry. It's gel brew, but furry. Okay. So, what's down here? Can I shoot me? I don't remember this render. I, I'm getting various dragons from Mario. And I, I got one that I don't recognize. From Yoshi's story. There's a fucking flamethrower, dude. Them I'm dead. Trusty N64 era renders. I'm not... No, I, I refuse to die here. Where's the water? Where's the water? I suppose you don't remember when you saved, do you? Where's the water? I'm running around and I'm on fire and I'm just trying to find water. Water, please! Oh, wait, no, I think I, I know where the water is. Going this way! <laughs> this is. <laughs> just like casually running around on fire like the human torch. Okay, I'm almost there. I'm almost to the water. Flame on! Come on! What Almost are some of the there. other villains that the Straw Hats recruited? Uh, Volcanica? Uh, Permafrost? One. Um... Cheetah? I don't know any of these. <laughs> That's from... They're deep, they're deep cuts a little bit. Uh, oh! Poison Ivy! Okay. And then, uh, and then in a roundabout way, Harley Quinn. How, how that happened was that, uh, the, the Straw Hats, they discovered what Halloween is, and they're like, oh, we get to extort people for candy? And sure, and Sanji was there, and then, uh, Joker was about to, like, uh, do some kind of poison apple thing, and Harley was there, uh -huh. like, with him. And then he, and Joker was about to hit Harley, and Sanji got pissed off, and then he literally rearranged Joker's face so he could never like, smile or laugh again. Okay. Yeah. That pissed- that naturally pissed him off. Uh... So- so she's there with them. Um, was Poison Ivy stick? She was just, like, a mad scientist? Uh, she, uh, she ended up, like, uh... Like, uh, combining her DNA with that of a plant or something. And then, uh, she became an eco-terrorist. I burned through fucking, like, 10 or 15 medkits. Worth it. We better be careful. Only 30 more. Look at that fucking flamethrower guy that can kill you instantly. That, that's, that is, that sucks hard. I'm sorry. I do not like that at With all. Limited saves. Imagine. God. Okay, so this is in the center, but what is here? There's gotta be a switch or something. Okay, red key card. No, no. I don't have the red key card. No, no. So, I did a switch to open up here, but there's nothing here. That's like... Alright, well, what do you want from me then? Get. <clears throat> the lighting is uneven. Some areas have better lighting than others. Okay. 
Uh... So we need something to disable the circular saw in that room to get uh, something else. And then... When you return to this area, after pressing the button near the saw, you'll see the helipad has been raised. Yeah, I went down there. I'm gonna have to go back down there again. Fuck it. Alright. Back to the helipad. Guy with the club is carrying the second machine chip. Did you get that? Uh... No, I I was too busy. I was too busy being on, literally on fire. <clears throat> Is there a guy with the club? Oh, there it is. Okay. And this will disable the. Uh... Okay, okay. Now this, the chain of, of events is uh is okay. I got it now. Please stop. Huh. Okay, so No no that's the helipad. We're going we're going to the uh to the saw blade room. Uh, what do you, uh... Oh, uh, so how much, uh, Original Justice League did you watch? I watched the whole series. Okay. You remember that episode where, uh, where that one, uh, a, like, Amazonian woman wanted to kill all, uh... You are getting cut off, I'm not hearing you. Okay. Hello? Yeah. You remember that, uh, one episode where that Amazonian woman wanted to kill all men with an allergen? No. I'm, no. I'm sure I saw it, but I don't remember it. Finally. Alright, so this is the red key card. Uh -huh. Why the fuck is that door... I don't get half the decisions that this game makes. What, what brought that up, that episode? Because uh, that was Injustice. Wait, what? Oh, in the, in the fanfic, yeah. Yeah, that, because, uh, yeah, Chopper was, like, somewhat, like, like, uh, resistant to it. And then Brooke was resistant to it. Because he was a skeleton. Uh. I'm trying to think of what my favorite, like, I'm so, I, I wish you read more fanfiction. There's like some yeah. really there's some really funny ones out there and some really good ones as well. I don't know why I'm going through here. Um, they all because a lot of the best ones seem to get like the characters and what makes them interesting. Like the running gag, like between that and then uh, Pirate Heroes, the uh, My Hero Academia one. Uh, they both understand that like 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 they both the writers of those seem to understand that like. Like, when people say to, uh, Luffy, are you guys heroes? And they're like, no, we're not heroes, we don't want to share our meat. Which is, I guess... Yeah, I'm was, sure. Go on. I, I think that was a thing that they that he said in One Piece at one point. That, like, heroes have to share their meat, so I'm not a hero. Something like that, yeah. Yeah. I'm sure there's lots of fanfics like that. That is, uh... A trait of a good fanfic writer is... Knowing the characters. Yeah. Yeah. Um, a lot of, uh, I'm gonna tell you this right now, like, Bakugo has Sasuke rep in the, in the My Hero Academia fanfiction community. Of, like, just being, like, insufferable and no one likes him? Yeah. Which is especially funny because even as bad as the very earliest Bakugo is, he's still really toned down from what that kind of person would be in real life. Oh, yeah. And you know what? I finally got it. Like, I, 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 it was right. I, I came around on that character. I have no idea where I'm going. Uh, I was. Oh, I'm going back to the center pillar. That's where I was going. So yeah, I'll go here. Sure. Why do you need a circuit board to turn off a saw 
Um, because it's malfunctioning, I guess. It's like, it was, they ripped out the circuit board. Yeah, Jones would be like, why the fuck is everything designed like a stereotypical, like, uh, temple? I'm guessing this is where the level ends. It's the final room. What?! Fuck off! What a mean... What a mean game this game is. They jump scare you with dudes out of nowhere. Guys with guns. Okay, where am I? All right, so I'm on. I'm on the top part of the diving room now. This. You said this isn't the final room. No. Don't okay. fall in. I don't plan on it. I really don't want to fucking fall in here. Shooting at me? Alright. Guess we're going this way. Uh. So that's the locked door, but also there's a drop here. Oh, hey! Waste high water! We haven't had this in a while! Look at these new features. It's dark! It's confined! I'm scared! I'm gonna pop a flare. What? Marco. Okay. So it's... He's getting be beaten up by a Chinese guy? I don't know. Is this what they were talking about in the old splash screen? Being like, this doesn't represent... This represents a different time? Did, was that mentioned? That was there, but they patched it out because people were like, What the fuck are you talking about? Chill the fuck out. Alright, got him. I mean, that, that is just a Chinese accent. That is a thick Chinese accent. It's well, not necessarily I think, I think I accidentally ended the level. You are not one of them. But you are a monk. Brother Chen Bakang. You have come for me. I saw bright lights around me. That was gunfire. I think it was them who got taken away by it. But you are my guide. My path beta to a next incarnation. I have done my time here, haven't I? What are you doing here? Marker Botany. Nothing. I, I, I led righteous life. <laughs> here for reasons rooted only in necessary evil. As my father was before me when he bombed Gianni's vessel deep into these waters. Now I'm here. Uh, was here. To prevent his son from salvaging the Seraph. The Seraph? You not know my life's work well. You sure you're not here for them? Their Jackanory days are well over. Malignant treasure. In Tibet, since being stolen by imbecile vagabonds centuries ago, we've been without key to it, relying solely on cleansing of our prayers to keep it subdued. Then the occultist Gianni B acquired it. Trouble we knew. He breathed life. Is she just fucking stripping in front of this guy? One not to be stopped by any amount of head bowing. And now again, it is here, Marco. It's okay. He's a monk. He's trustworthy. He has violent mind, but not yet the power to say she. Also, she's Laura Croft. She'd kick his ass if he tried anything. Yeah, fair enough. The true detox of evil. Where can you be taking me? And then Dracula showed up. <laughs> That is a very form-fitting diving suit. Diving suits usually are, though. Not to, like... Not to each bosom. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Yeah, that diving suit that, uh... 
That they it's that, like that, that anime boob pockets trope. Oh yeah. Fuck. All right. Oh, we missed the gold one. Yeah, he said it was in the final room. I have a save. Whatever. Is it is it that important? No, it's not. It couldn't be worth it. What was the what's the treasure for for that? Uh, four sets of Uzi clips. Fine, whatever. I don't need them. I don't. I just want to get through this. I didn't check to see how long it took. I think it was like fifty something minutes. It was slightly shorter than uh, than oil rig. Uh, we're at one fifty five right now. All right, cool. We're actually making good progress then. We have four hours if we if we finish uh, the the ocean. Well, it's not four sections. It's six sections. Oh, really? For uh, this group of levels. So uh, what do we do? Three of them? Yeah, we'll do three of them. We'll finish the second half. That was just three sections. What the fuck? It depends on how quick we go, I guess. Shark. Oh, nice. That FMV shark with his big goofy overbite. <laughs> what an idiot! He ran into a wall. He, he Captain Skyhawked underwater. Also, she's just free diving in the deep ocean. She's gonna get bins like fucking crazy. Alright, well, uh. uh... Laura! I don't think you thought this through. She have like a way to get air. What's the plan here? She has no plan. She just was like, I'm gonna fucking I'm gonna fucking do it. Interesting. The 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 the, the bar moves position between versions. For some reason. Yeah. What are you looking for? I'm looking for... You know, I'm a surface. Fuck it. No, I can't. When was the last time I saved? Fucking diving area 179. Fuck it. <laughs> eh, it's not too far back. I gotta at least skip the cutscene. Just throws you in the middle of a fucking... Like, sea level. Throw sharks. If you want to get the secret... Yeah. Enter the next room, take out the armed guards from the catwalk. Okay. Head down the stairs. But go into a small room before approaching the monk. Okay. So basically, if you don't jump into the middle of the room, you'll find the secret itself. I just like. jumped into a fucking middle of the room like a fucking crazy dude. I guess? No, it's in, you said side room, so probably here. Yep. Eh, yeah, whatever. Uzi's probably gonna be my main weapon of choice. Or Croft, more concerned with treasure than the dying man in the middle of the room. Yeah, that, that sounds like Laura. Alright, I'm going to immediately save once, uh, once this opens. Cool. All right. Now, I'm gonna pop a flare. I don't know how much it'll help, but it'll help. Okay, so, so that's not an object I can enter. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna swim in one direction. But Quentin, why do you suddenly want to make a Tomb Raider movie? Uh, you know, I just think she's an interesting character. Okay, not that way. So I'm gonna hug the wall. I'm gonna ignore the shark. Hey, Laura Croft is would be the type of person to just fucking free dive with that just randomly. Is this the ship? Uh okay. 
Now, even more than previous levels, this is definitely a level where you just have to die repeatedly before you find out what you're supposed to do. Oh yeah, this is uh, this is totally like like the kind of level that is just like get lucky. Well, Laura just dives in. She just didn't have a fucking plan. She just was like, okay, here's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so. This is the How shit. did we get here? I get the base was we, underwater. We were at an oil rig and they were diving from that mini sub. We were holding on to the mini sub, and then the idiot just just struck rock. Isn't this creepy? Okay, not there. New Subnautica update, looking good. <sighs> Total. So you tried to surface and like the shark stopped you? No, I, I, I don't think I can surface because I'm forty fathoms below water. I'll probably drown. I'll get the bins. Yeah, there's a visible wall higher up, high, uh, so high up. Okay. Uh, you wanna... Uh, swim into the wrecked ship and find air before Laura drowns. Wrecked ship, got it. I'll, I'm, I guess I'm just missing it then. Okay, PS1 vision. Well, it's one of those rare cases where it's darker on PS1. Uh, kind of. Okay. Is that an entry point? Players out! I don't think there was a fucking instance in, in Tomb Raider 3 that, that they did this. What, started a level where you have to, like, figure it out quick or you die? They did it in fucking, like, uh, Chronicles. Was that the opening? Uh, no. No, Chronicles, uh, Tomb Raider Chronicles had a... There's an opening. There is an opening? Right Where? below you. Uh... Oh, no, that's a rock. Never mind, that's a rock texture. Yeah, that's it. I'm I dead. thought on the other end of the ship, it looked like there was an opening in the top of it. Now, does it point me in the direction of the ship from starting out, or do I have to turn? I think it points me in the direction of the ship immediately, so that's a good... So no, that does not look... Oh my god, this game! <sighs> Some terrible directions, I'm like Zorro. This fuck... This, this like, fucking, uh... Like Sierra ass, like like trial and error gameplay. You, did I ever mention that this is my least favorite Tomb Raider? Yeah. Yet. Of the trilogy. Yes, of the trilogy. Of the original trilogy. Fi it sucks that like. It it feels like you can't go like any faster than the than how you're swimming and then oh, Okay, so it's not directly in front of you and it's not directly so right. It's going to be, be directly behind me. Inside the wrecked ship. Can't see it. Alright, so it is directly behind me. I feel like I'm not swimming fast at all. Is that an opening? I'm trying to find it. Uh, up above a little bit. Ooh. Oh, fuck yeah! Oh, 
Right. Like, Canon Laura just like beeline to that immediately. She knew exactly where to go. Yeah, she didn't like spin like five death loops drowning and okay. So we're in a ship. Now. Man, I Is this the Titanic? Wait, so Laura was riding on the outside of the submarine. Yes. What was her plan then? I know, right? Uh I'm missing something. Is this just a dead end? This just is a dead end. Okay. I'm uh, I'm gonna head back and regain my air and save. I don't know if I've saved. What? The shark followed you. The shark what the sh I told you to You know what? At least we're just dealing with wild animals instead of guys with guns. Wild animals I can fucking deal with. Come on, Jaws! Can't, can't wait for the divers. Oh wow! They hit hard! The shark. The shark fucking followed me. So I gotta go through here. No, and then up through here. Flare out. Did you save in that last room? No. I'm just gonna do one, one more looky look around and... Okay, over here. And then... Probably on the opposite wall. No? On the ground? Doing this with limited saves. Oh! I'm gonna go ahead and say that the original version of this game was a badly designed game. Uh... For the... It is better... For the time, it was probably... Like, the best... Fuck, I need to go back and get some air. I don't know what I triggered. I want you to imagine Crash Bandicoot with limited saves. Like, you can only save so many times, then you can't do it anymore. Oh, that that's, uh, that's basically Rayman. Kind of. It is Rayman. Well, no, you could, uh... You couldn't regain... You couldn't re-get lives without, uh... I think you had to turn the game off and back on again. Yeah. For them to respawn. But you could always try again and have the, like, four or five lives or whatever. Okay, so... Zelda 2 on the NES had that problem, where uh, once you get a li get lives, they would just never respawn on that file. Yeah, and then you lose... yeah. And Zelda 2 is widely acknowledged to be a badly designed game in many ways. Yeah. So I... Down on the floor. Oh, okay, I see it now. Thanks. Uh, okay, there. Laura just hoping that there's air at some point in this journey. That's fine, there's probably air somewhere in this uh, wrecked ship. Remember the episode of Black Lagoon? Uh, which one? Uh, the one uh, where the crew go into that, that Nazi sub to steal, like, uh, to, and then they're, like, stealing treasure. And Rock was like, we shouldn't do that. That's not good. Played the game once. Fuck off. Uh, there's a way you could, like... Hmm. Let's save first if, before I do anything stupid. If we watch that episode, then I forgot about it. Okay, is it this? No. And this? No. Alright, I, I don't know. Probably a keyboard thing. Was it one of the F keys? Was it this one? No, not that one. Don't want to do that. Not that one. Oh, there we go. It's F3. Okay. Alright. There was a Pokemon scene that imagined Ash running out of air in an underwater tunnel. But obviously because it's a kid's show, it's not going to show like how terrifying that would be. Yeah. Indeed. 
Are you just uh, playing around with like dev mode? What is this? This is a this is a photography mode. Oh. Dude, where is the nude code? <laughs> the nude code. Uh, let's see, hide UI is which button? This button? Nope. That's not the button I was thinking of. Fuck. You know what? It's fine. I can fix this. Are you fishing for a thumbnail? Is that what you're doing? Sure. Why not? I'll save you some time. All right. Now, let's try this again. Still too high. Are you trying to get her, like, sitting in the water? I was sitting on the ledge. There should be a way to, like, move the model a little bit. Oh, well. You know, you know. Uh, a is hide UI. Okay. Nope, not there. Uh... <laughs> Wait, what the hell's five different from one? Oh, her eyebrows cocked. I got it. All right, there we go. I did what I needed to. Uh, too low, can't climb. Have we gotten any music in this stream? Uh, we have some. It's mostly been ambient stuff. Mother of God, what the heck? Okay. Oh, I gotta Mario go back underwater. Music. Oh yeah. Oh man, that you think that would be demented? I feel like that would maybe be a little bit in this scenario. Wait, what happened? Oh, you know, just... We drained the water. Just activated the ship's automatic draining feature that this ship had for some reason. Even though it's underwater and upside down, still works as intended. <laughs> you know, it's that uh, ancient... Uh, okay, I don't need to do a, do a running jump. I feel like we're halfway through this level already. Uh, okay, that's just for... Uh, so I'm, I'm guessing the goal's up there. Okay, up. Forward. That's just a... Guys with guns. Why are guys with... How'd they get down here and why are they not in wetsuits? Take in over. I don't know. If there requires keys in this... Oh, I can... oh, fuck the secrets. Let's just get through this as fast as possible. drop. No way! Alright, health. Good. I'll use that immediately. Is that a shotgun? That is a shotgun. And he's somehow managing to hit me like that through... This is rough. Uh -huh. This is rough. I was expecting, okay, we're gonna be under the sea. There's no way, and then he's just here. They, they're just people here. That was a good, uh, solid, like, thud, by the way, when he landed in that pool of water. <laughs> this... I want to I wanna reiterate that, that, um... That I don't know what this game's obsession with just, like... 
is with like just. Alright. I think this is the same ambience as the Atlantis levels. Forty fucking fathoms, man. If I wasn't so interested in playing Tomb Raider, the uh, Tomb Raider three, I just skip. If I wasn't, oh, what was I? I mean, you got to show off this game to show off, like, yeah, the improvements. Flaws. Yeah. Uh. I feel like that that's gonna that walkway up there is gonna fuck me. Fuck it. All right. Look how how long could this level realistically be? Oh, this whole level's upside down. <laughs> All right. Uh, forward or left? Uh, I'm gonna say forward. Uh. Okay, something will trigger that door later. Got it. And there's another path. Probably, probably loops around to where we were before. Light coming. It, this is a very like conveniently well lit area. Like logically, all of this should be pitch black. Yeah. Okay. And wait. Why is there something on fire? Please tell me there's not more, uh, more fucking flame guys down. You brought a flamethrower down here? Or running through these tunnels. You, you know if there is a flame guy, he's gonna be, like, way away from any water source. Yeah. Um. There's also, uh, active flame vents again. Theoretically, I could, like, do my fucking bullshit to get around that, but I have a feeling that that's not what the game wants me to do, so I will leave it alone this time. Okay, uh, so... Hmm. And then, over here is a door. <sighs> Alright. So this is area... Th this is level three of six of this batch of levels. Hmm. The next world whoa, has four whoa, levels. What happened? The next world has four levels, and the final one has three. All right. So the next, uh, so this six, six, and then three. Uh, no, six, four, three. Six, four, three. Okay, that makes so sense. I think we should stop after this one, then do three, four, three. Okay. All right. That sounds good. That actually, that that sounds good. And then, and then we'll do Sly next next time. We'll finish Sly off. And what game did you want to start after Sly? Uh, I think there was a few we talked about. Uh, oh, there's Ratchet Deadlocked. We didn't get around to. There's Tony yeah. Hawk Five. Yeah. All right, which just... might only be one stream because that's gonna be like short and shitty. I'm going to guess that that triggered the fire. Uh, being off, and that's a uh, time limit. It seems like I'm right. Nope. Okay, so what did that, that tra toggle, then? Okay. We'll find out. Okay, not that door. So it's probably the other one. The one that we saw that was uh, at the uh, end of that one stretch to the left. We could do Link to the Past as the Jack game. Either after this or after Tomb Raider 3. I want to go on to Tomb Raider 3. But yeah, we can do Link to the Past after that. Um, okay, so it didn't trigger that one or... Alright, so what did that switch trigger then? Uh... Jump. Uh. Oh, it's time switch. Okay. 
It's not urgent, but uh, the Jackbox multi picker came out. So we can do a Jackbox stream soonish. Multi picker? The mega picker, where you can pick from all the Jackbox games in one oh, EXP. Oh, nice. Okay, so turn your. Wait, this? Okay. Okay. Oh, more There's swimming. The tunnel opened. Okay. Shark sharks or divers? What? Barracuda. Barracudas. Barracuda. B -b -b Barracuda. Shark. Barracuda. And also and a shark. They're friends. We did all this for a fucking secret. Fuck me. There, there's nothing else here. Why did I do this? There was this was pointless. Also had a surprising number of people interested in that like Jackbox naughty pack, so I guess we should try it once. Yeah. <sighs> try it once. Okay. I'm guessing there's something in that main room that I missed. I'm gonna go back there. That switch just oh So that trap door happened. But that then from here is here. Okay, one more one more uh, thing. I'm gonna try one more thing and then I'm gonna uh, and I'm gonna consult uh, a guide. There. Run here. Run quickly to the right. Left. Run. Okay, uh, I need I need your help. I forget what I'm. After supposed returning to. inside from getting the Jade Dragon, hop down from the doorway into the area with the wet floor. Okay. Notice the raised door on the right. You will return here later. All right. Yeah, I I will return here later. Tell me. Jump over the pipe just ahead. Turn right and jump over the next pipe, into the wide corridor where you first entered this area. Okay, hold on. And left into the narrow dark hallway. Okay. So this so this area and then left here. Alright, I am here. So there's something I'm missing uh, here. And left into the Oh okay, I see it. I was just being blind. And then switch, and then I'm going to guess. Gonna turn off the fire or that or open that something area else. earlier. Yeah, we'll see. Okay, that'll open... Okay, I know where that is. I hope this isn't timed. I'm paranoid about all these switches being timed now. <laughs> is this gonna... Wait, what? That only triggered two of them. <laughs> Alright. In for a penny, in for a pound. Let's go. Uh, oh. Now we're going back, I guess. And we're going back. <clears throat> Fire! Fire! Why, is, why has fire only become a threat on the water levels? <laughs> it's ironic! I'm gonna try something. Nope, not that. Laura. Laura! I hope this works. If this doesn't work, I am gonna be pissed. Of course, you can only stop dropping wall, uh, w rolling water surfaces. All right, so that's open now. <sighs> okay. Wait, so I have to run from where I from that one switch, hit that, 
run all the run and jump all the way over here, hit this switch, and then run immediately. Okay, let's just pull the switch and see what happens. Uh, save the game. Oh, okay, it does that. Oh, it turns off all four. Yeah, it turns off all four. Okay, thank you. This is annoying. So annoying. So annoying. They put these here just to fuck with me. It's already on. I was too late and it's already on. Better start running. Mm. Would it just be faster to load the save? You're right. Hold on. I'll undo. Oh, I can't undo it. I have to wait for it to... Alright, let's wait for the timer to run out. My favorite installations of a shipyard is uh, circular saws and flamethrowers. <laughs> Uh Great Great Temple music would be fitting here. Yeah. Especially for how frantic it is. Alright. Well I guess I'm gonna have to run over there and then Okay, that have wasn't you Have you played any uh, Resident Evil games? I played two, I played four, and uh, I played five, and I played six. Which do you prefer between two and four? Uh, four. Uh, I ha I haven't played the two remake actually. I played two original. I and I prefer four's combat system a whole lot better. I know the series gets. Wait, what? What? Huh? But huh? You didn't flip the switch. What are you talking about? Did this game break? I know the series gets a little bit of grief because it got a lot less atmospheric and a lot more shooty shooty in four. Okay, so now we'll go back and see if that does that again once we enter the room. The triggers break? What the fuck? Okay, so we go in here. Is, Approach is it. The switch. Okay, the save. Is... Yeah, I'm saving. Oh, okay. Saving. This seems really tight. This is like this. I I already think I've like I've like lost it. Like if you miss that jump or if you miss this jump. Okay, I've made both these jumps. And yet the fire's going. Right. What the fuck? I think he spent too long on that uh, that first ledge. Unless Wait. there's like a faster way to get here. Hold on, the the last two are are off, but the first two. Do we two... need to hit switch bo hit both switches? We do need to hit both switches. Holy shit! Okay then. All right, let's wait for this to trigger. And then, and then, uh, and once the, the back two burners light up again, we'll just, uh, we'll, we'll run our asses off. Well, according to this, you do, the back burner shutoff lasts longer, so you do want to hit that one first. Oh, we do? And then go to the, the front two burners switch. Okay. Okay, fair enough. We will do that. All right. Yeah, please stop. Okay. Why would it trigger that if ah? It did. It, it, it showed you all four uh, of them off, didn't it? Yeah, it did. The, this game. It, this game is not well designed. And then you hear it, right? You hear the fucking fire going. So that should be a, tr a clue. But the game's lying to you. I do, I hesitate to mention this, but, uh, -huh. uh there I'm is a pool of water way. immediately on the opposite side of the flames. Okay. Then you know what? I've got a new, I've got a new, I, well, okay. 
I don't know what this is. All right. Yeah, please stop. Okay. No. What what a misleading cutscene. Yeah. I don't know what's up with that. Okay, good. So it's this way. Hard right. Jump. Turn. Tur fuck. Fuck! Okay. Well, now the cutscene's not misleading. Okay, run. Turn. Jump. Run. Safe! Saving. Fucking hell! Just barely made it, too. That's the- okay, that's the kind of gameplay I really like, where it's just, like, figuring out how the fuck this, uh, puzzle- these puzzles are supposed to work. Barracuda. Barracuda. Wait, what? Oh, no. Find the switch! Do I have to fight the Barracuda just so I can have enough time to find a fucking... This is one element short of a timed underwater escort mission. <sighs> Did it lock behind me? No way! Uh... Good thing I saved! Alright. You want, you want me to play hard? I will play hard. Alright, Barracuda, let's do this. Okay. I just saw, um, that door will lock behind me. So once uh, I'm in, it'll be a race to see, to find the switch. That door closes when you pull the top lever. When I pull the top lever? Wait, this? Wait, is there another Barracuda? Oh no, that's the one I killed. Oh, that's still going. Alright, so there's a lever up here? Oh, I see it. Wait, that's at the very bottom. Fuck this game. At least this one isn't. No! <laughs> They're making you swim up and then down and then up again. <laughs> this game is so mean! 40 fathoms! Well, our playtesters managed to do it with frames to spare, so I think we're good. This would only make sense if if this was like the last part of this uh, of this level. Is, is there more? There better not be more. It's it's. How can there be more? Save. I'll save. Yeah, just in case. Okay, where are we? I mean, yeah, it's pretty, uh, it's pretty fucking knackered. <laughs> I'm going to guess there are going to be some enemies here. No? That 
this feel good, sliding down a rusty metal surface with bare feet? Oh, it probably feels good for salad fingers. The, uh, you know, that Newgrounds animation. No. No, okay. He liked rusty, he liked touching rusty spoons. He, according to him, the feeling was, uh, truly orgasmic, so just throw them in here, and it's basically just like a, like a sensation, an orgy. <laughs> Two big areas, and... Okay, there's a switch. What's the switch gonna do? Is it gonna flood everything again? Alright, you dropped down, now swim back up. The fuck did I do?! A detonation switch? I hit the button, and then... Oh, it's there's metal now. I, I hit the fucking... I hit the fucking thing that was, uh, that was, that just kept, like, implodes the structure, I guess. Uh. Okay. Up here? No, but I came down here. Over here? This trap door is new. Oh. I think. But there's no way to get up from here, is there? No. So I guess I'm going. Okay, I I understand what's going on now. And up. Uh, up. Thank you. So the, the pile in the center is lower now. That should theoretically have cleared out, like, space to climb. So you have beaten this game before. Uh, I think? I, I, I'm pretty sure I have. I don't remember. I... I know that like that like there's a, so a snow speeder later on, uh, and that and that you have to be really fucking careful in Tibet. Uh, Laura, with the, with do the you monks. think love can bloom on the battlefield? I know I know that the final levels are actually worth it because they're pretty trippy. But uh, is this where I'm coming from? Another switch. Is this gonna is this gonna destroy the fucking ship more? You just hunt the switches level. Yeah. Well. Where's that? Is this a part of Laura's superpower to just, like, see where switches she pulls, what they do? Yeah, it's her nin It's part of her nin abilities. It's her nin sensory. Okay, so she has a stand, she has a nin ability. The gun, the gun's part also a nin ability. That's the thing, is that... Is that, uh... Is this room, right? Mm. Or is it the room down there? No, it can't be the room down there! Damn that it? could be a fan fiction where Nen users like also get stands. Dude, uh, fucking, uh, fucking My Hero Academia, but uh, instead of getting a quirk, uh, Izuku gets a stand. Someone starts with a quirk, and then they learn Nen, and then they go to JoJo verse and also get a stand. There's a YouTube what if where instead of uh, instead of uh, Izuku getting a quirk, he gets he just learns how to use hockey. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's just to do everything. Quirks kind of. are a lot less weird than Nen abilities or stands, though. Yeah. I'm a. They're usually pretty normal. What was it? I'm a. What was a that that uh, that Hisoka said about his uh, his uh, ability? Uh, like, or, or uh, he's an emitter. I, we're whimsical I, liars. I think. I think he and Kilo are transmuters. Yeah, we're, we're, we're whimsical. whimsical liars. And then Kilo's like, that's true. And then that other that's woman's true. like, that's true. That's true. I was able to climb up here before. Why aren't you letting me climb up here again? Walk slightly to the right, or you're higher. Oh, that's yeah. left. Yeah, you're probably right. <laughs> wow, it's a good thing I didn't take damage from this rusty copper floor. Or I recently, uh, I, I rewatched yeah. both versions of Hunter x Hunter with Darian. Yeah. And uh, uh, I didn't realize how much the early arts were rushed in the 2011 one. 
Oh yeah, they were totally just like they really wanted to get to uh, they finally slowed down for like the the prisoners in the tower. I, I guess that's where they figured it got good. <laughs> the prisoner. If you mean the oh uh, the uh, the one they censored. Eco terrorist. Oh, she's an eco terrorist. Yeah, no, no, she's, she's not a psychologist anymore. She's an eco terrorist. <laughs> I preferred it, it, like, I preferred, she's so good, she makes people want to, apparently, Wait, what, the eco Was she an eco-terrorist, or was she, there's something about her, like, having a gambling thing. I think eco-terrorist might have been the manga. Yeah. Like, she's a different thing in every version of the story. <laughs> she is, a, she is a whimsical liar. I guess I'm climbing. I guess I better start climbing. No. Uh. This way. Climb over this way. There's gonna be like one very specific spot that you can get up. Yeah, probably. What I gotta do is like, is like, if I ever have to to uh, use the restroom during the stream, I gotta have like a video ready on standby. Just to just to have you watch something while I go. <sighs> Is this even possible? Am I supposed to be doing this? I'm not. Maybe we need to find another switch. Oh god. Big rooms filled with dirt. Oh, this is supposed to be dirt? This isn't dirt. This is fucking like this isn't dirt. Are you kidding me? <laughs> dirt. Okay, not there. Let's save. I haven't done that in a while. Throw the switch here to flood a large room elsewhere. Return to the lowest dirt-filled room. Yeah, and then I did that, and then... Climb up through the right opening of the two openings next to each other. The right op- Yeah, I did! Did I? Go around the left side of the dearth pile in this room. Okay. And climb up to the large rectangular opening near the ceiling. The left Flip another switch here. Okay, yeah, well, I did that one, and that opened up the door, right? That opens up the door up, uh... Open up a door in the room you just flooded. Return again to the lowest dirt-filled room and climb over to the dirt pile to stand beneath the open trap doors. Okay, the op- wait, the open trap door- Oh! Beyond them is a square opening in the wall. Okay, so I'm not even supposed to be here again. I'm supposed to be over there. All right. Not in them, but beyond them is a square opening in the wall. On them? What? I was over there, though. Wasn't I? Mm hmm. Okay, well, I'm heading over there now. <clears throat> uh, what do you want me to do? You want me to jump, like, through the fucking trapdoor? I don't think it would have. It's more hard light. Semi-hard light. If it was hard light, I wouldn't be able to move through them. It's only hard when it's active in a certain way. Okay. I don't recognize this area. We're approaching 200 saves. I remember what we got up to in Tomb Raider 1. Good thing I saved. Past 100. Okay, so... Uh... Did we not hit the thing that floods this room? I guess not! Fucking shit! Alright, where's the flood switch? Uh... In the upper room, climb the dirt pile. Okay, so I, I was supposed to do that. Pull All right. through the square opening in the ceiling. Okay. So... I was supposed to be up there. All right. Uh. 
one. I guess it's the square opening in the ceiling, right? Yeah. Or is it that one? No. There's... Well, we can't get back up there because we like lowered the amount of dirt in this room. Well, that that sucks. <sighs> I'm guessing it's the other one, the one I was like at before that I was trying to get up. That somehow I have to figure out how to get up through there. Ah. <sighs> Where's that one? Climb the dirt pile and pull up through the square opening in the ceiling. No, Throw the switch here to flood a larger flood a room. <laughs> Alright, so it's probably up through here. This is probably this is probably where I need to do, and I need to figure out how to climb that dirt pile. Yeah, it's this one. Uh, yeah. Okay, so... The mystery of the ju of the jumping puzzle. Okay, maybe if I... Eat. She doesn't like jumping up these, like, uphill angles. Yeah. Okay, not there. Uh... Damn it. Uh, I thought I got it. <sighs> hmm. No. Is, Let me uh, know if you give up, love. Wait, you have you have a, an answer? There's there's like a picture, yeah, in the guy. Fuck. Uh, give me one second. I am I really gotta use the restroom. I will be right back, and then and then you can tell me what what to do. All right. Ugh. One second, everyone. Well, I'm all out of talking points. So, hello, everyone who's still here. How you doing? I am almost to the end of Naruto Shippuden, which I decided to watch because, I don't know, I never finished it. I thought I would get things to talk about with people out of it, but... Uh, it was kind of a wasted effort because now that I'm near the end, all I want to talk about is the filler and no one else watched the filler. So finally started book of Mario highlights still very early working on Sly Cooper highlights. Altogether too many, and I've been very slow with them of late. I haven't had a lot of time to uh, to work on them. Just finished playing through Paper Mario 64 on Retro Achievements. I think that took me like five days. And I am almost done with Thousand Year Door, which only recently got added. Not too bad. There hasn't been anything terrible in either of those sets. I think the worst one in Thousand Year Door will be doing the uh, Pit of 100 Trials without Danger Mario and without any special moves. That could be a bit tough. But uh, still nowhere near as bad as the... Uh, Zelda Twilight Princess I'm stuck on because the hardest achievement in that set has me do the Pit of Ordeals 
which is the equivalent of the pit of a hundred trials. It has 50 floors and I have to do it with only three hearts and one bottle. I have uh, now made it to the bottom floor and died twice. Very, very demoralizing. But after that, I guess I'll be done with all of the all the 3D Zelda games that have retro achievements because there aren't aren't a lot. The GameCube added two of them. We got Wind Waker and Twilight Princess, but uh, there are still no achievements for Wii games, so no Skyward Sword. Which, in some ways, I'm looking forward to because I do really like Skyward Sword HD, but. I'm worried that I will not like the Wii one nearly as much. I'm worried I'm going to have a lot of problems with the Wii Skyward Sword. I haven't done any Mario games. Just like mainline Mario games on Retro Achievements because uh, I very stubbornly want to do them in order and I'm still not close to like finishing the achievements for Mario one because it's like, it's the video game. It's going to have like a ton of, a ton of achievements and like some fairly difficult ones. Haven't done a Sonic games. Haven't done a Mega Man's, uh, I don't really like normal Mega Man, so I probably wouldn't do those anyway. But uh, Battle Network has achievements. I just recently played through the first three on uh, on the collection, though, which has its own achievements. So I guess I'm not in a big hurry to do those for uh, for that. That's something that we could uh, start. We haven't done a Battle Network game in ages, and I have am still blind to four through six. I have not played those ones at all. So games, we could start soon. Tony Hawk five will be a one-off ratchet deadlocked battle network Four. I would be willing to do metal gear solid. If that was maybe that would be a Jack stream, but uh, man, again, I like the games, but they're really big. They're they're long games. They're they're commitments to a lot of stream time. If we did the Metal Gear Solid series, especially the later ones, four and five would be so many streams. I wonder if the ports are at least acceptable. The I know the Konami Metal Gear Solid collection got a little bit of grief but as my understanding that people's problem with it was that it was just ports and didn't like uh didn't add anything new any enhancements or anything which i guess kind of sucks but if you're just someone who just wants to be able to play the games it's satisfactory if you want to be able to play them without emulating specifically all right i'm back what'd you talk about various stuff games that we could start Cool. Uh, uh, we haven't done a Battle Network game in ages. Oh, you want to do... Uh, we're, what was the last one we did? Three? Yeah, so from this point on, I'm, I'm blind to them. I've never played Battle Network 4 through that, 6. That's something we could do after Sly. Battle Network. Or, or no, we, Battle we should Battle Network, do... R- Ratchet Deadlocked. Uh, I think Tony Hawk 5 would take the least amount of time. When either. Yeah, that would be one or two streams, so we'll knock that off pretty yeah. quick. And then, uh, and then we could do Deadlock. We haven't Deadlocked, however, is two-player, so having games like this are, uh, it's nice to have a game that only you are playing and only I'm playing if one of us doesn't feel like, you know, playing that day. Yeah, so Deadlock would be the multiplayer game, and I guess uh, Battle Network could be the only you game, and then this could be the game that I could play if you're not feeling up to. Hey, I did it! That was a weird-looking jump. Yeah. Yeah, I was I was kind of tired today. Yeah. Yeah, I uh, I mentioned I think I mentioned this on stream. I'm uh, I got a diagnosis a few weeks ago that I got POTS, which explains a lot about how I get easily tired when I do streams. 
and stuff, and then and then among other things involving work and stuff. So it's been it's been a struggle. I've been off stream, but not been taking it well. <laughs> so, all right, that's the flood. Worked a uh, worked a sixteen hour shift the other day. Yeah, I did. I did on Friday. Uh, I, I promised it before I would do it before I got my diagnosis, and then I basically did that. I was messed up yesterday, to say the least. Okay, and then back over here. Oh, not, not it's not up there. It's through here. Yeah. The hard light. What a, what a bizarre thing to do in this game is to have all these jumps where you just go through things. Yeah, this this game is weird like that. And I don't remember 3 having any of those uh, like moments, but who knows. Alright, here we go. Alright, so this, we flipped two switches. One of them flooded this room, and another one opened a door in this room. Yeah, which means that we are going down. See, it makes sense for the for them to be here. What the? The dude with a wrench. He's got. A... What the fuck? All right. Ratchet is his first sona. Uh huh. I'm just this guy. How did you get in here? Uh-huh. All right. I guess I went the right way. Oh. That we were was that close. Yeah. If I didn't if I didn't go and use the restroom, it probably would have been done in like 40 minutes. Well, that that was actually quicker than Italy. So, that's nice. All right, so next time we play, uh, it will be save game. Oh, the classic uh, theme! I I missed that. The wreck of the Maria. Maria Doria. All right, so forty fathoms. Forty fathoms. That wasn't too bad, honestly, uh, compared to uh, to like fucking the diving area. D diving area and offshore sucked. Uh, that was about 50 minutes. The first level of those three took us the longest. Yeah, well, yeah, it was two hours, two hours, and then 40 minutes. Yeah, no, that's fine. We'll stop here. Uh, we'll stop here. So, in theory, we have three streams left of this game. In theory. I think I think it's good. Well, I last time we played, we, to, get through, to get through Italy and then the prologue, we basically just went through, and that was like five hours, so... Doing three hours for this was not too bad. Six. Honestly, we could have stopped at the oil rig and then did the the wreck stuff as its own thing, but you know, that's this is fine. All right, that's it for today. We will see you all next time. Adios.